Hey everybody, welcome to uh, Plat Chat Overwatch. Nice subdued episode. Um, on you this did lovely... not match my energy. What was your energy? I was expecting you to go hard, so I freaked <laughs> yeah. out at the beginning, and then you just said hello. Yeah, now, you know, now. I thought I'd keep it a bit low. I like to keep the people guessing on their toes. Yeah, now I look like a dickhead. <laughs> now, going for a soft-spoken <laughs> approach for the introduction of this one. Very special episode. Mm. World why Cup would edition. you? Why would you take a special episode and intro it in the quietest way? <laughs> but then there are some episodes where we don't do anything but sit here and just talk about bullshit. We don't even talk mm -hmm. about Overwatch. And those you 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 hype up like they're the greatest thing of all time. We put so much work into this episode. Um, and you're like, oh yeah, hey, what's up? <laughs> That's it. I, like, <laughs> like, I mean, am I allowed to have an off day? Am yeah. I allowed to just be quiet for a day? <laughs> yeah. I mean, no, you, we only do fine. this show one one day a week. You just have to be good for the, the, so, yeah, the yeah, hour tell and my a half. I'll tell my brain chemicals to switch on for the Monday. Well, don't you don't need to be happy. You just need to fake just being happy. Shout. I need to fake <laughs> yeah, being exactly. happy. Yeah, exactly. You just need to fake being happy, yeah. yeah. What have we got uh, on the docket today, Brennan? Well, on the docket today, I'm glad you asked, <laughs> is the World Cup rosters. Johnny has done a fantastic job. He's compiled a list of... Players from uh, nine countries. I was going to say every nationality, but that's not quite true. No, we have done nine yeah. countries here because uh, this year, obviously, there couldn't be a World Cup. Sad. The teams are not going to be playing across ping. Um, so uh, we've decided to run our own World Cup, the Plat Chat World Cup. And what we're going to do is we've got a list of players. Kurt has been working on a, a great system as well. We are going to draft uh, national teams of each team. Mm. Now, I will say as a disclaimer. Mm -hmm. Um, some of these players are contenders players. Some of them yeah. we have little information on. Yes, um, that's absolutely true. I mean, so we're, we're yeah. kind of going by the the what did I what did I say? Going by the flying by the seat of our pants. By the I mean, of our pants. Yeah, I was going to say we could be going by the eyeball test, but that would be a lie because we just said we haven't seen any of them. So we're just <laughs> kind of randomly. There's also some assigning players, attributes to people, yeah. There's also some players we've got in the list of players that are currently not playing Overwatch anymore. Um, and the, the reasoning for that is um, we don't know uh, hey. the talent outside of their, <laughs> like in that nationality <laughs> you know, that could replace yeah. them. You know, so, just because you're, you're not in the league doesn't mean you can't compete in a situation like true. the World Cup. Of course, uh, yeah. Huck, Huck played in the first World Cup. Yeah, uh, okay, did. that one was a bit different. Uh, Stylosa played. Uh, did, yeah. uh, Tyrong, Tyrong played. So oh, you know, I mean, God. it's it, it, the World Cup gets a little yeah, crazy. Dude. You never know. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. That that's very true. true. Also, also, Brent. I mean, we have clearly selected the best teams that have come to the World Cup over the course of many years of running the Overwatch yep, World Cup. We have, and then also <laughs> this one. No, so, yes, Norway. What's, what's going on there? We have <laughs> France, Sweden. Now, in the uh, so at the flag shop. <laughs> <laughs> What happened at they, the flag uh, shop? They, they, uh, so when you order flags, yeah. you can order yep. 20 countries. Yep. And uh, going by the algorithm, it judges the, the 20 most important countries. Now, unfortunately, <laughs> Denmark yeah. didn't make the cut, <laughs> but Norway did. So we so got a Norway flag to represent Denmark. They're quite close to each other yeah, geographically. Yeah. Um, they don't border. They're both Scandinavian countries. <laughs> Who uh, paid for I, these flags? I once took a train from I, Denmark. I paid for the flags. And to, yeah, I, I, I would flags. expense it to Plat Chat, except I bought a bunch of random stuff, which I'm sure no one is going to want me to expense. <laughs> <laughs> so right, I, I also <laughs> have, I have a box of goodies right down here that's yeah. just off the screen. And every time we do a team... I know that Bren's not going to have that much input, so instead I'm going to feed him. <laughs> I'm going to feed him a special treat from each of the countries. Wait. Yep. <laughs> and we'll see how so it goes. So you have all eight. Do you have one treat for all eight countries? All nine. We have nine countries, mm -hmm. yes. Oh, I that's true. Yeah. Yep. I have one for all nine. In fact, yeah. one of them wow. isn't a food, actually, so you shouldn't try and eat it, but instead you will absorb the knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So cool. I, yeah, yeah, I've got a special um, box of surprises. I once played. Uh, I once played for Norway. Yes. <laughs> when? Um, what? So the, uh, back in the day, there was a TF2 competition called the Scandinavian Cup, and it okay. featured Denmark, Sweden, Norway, and Finland. Teams from each of those regions. You pour mm -hmm. yourself a nice mug of vodka before we get started. <laughs> um, uh, and the demo man for Team Norway. Didn't yeah. show up. 
So instead, I, so I played for Team Norway as an honorary member of Norway. Mm. So, um, so we're not trying to disrespect Denmark or Norway. We yeah. just yeah. think you guys we, are pretty similar. Yeah. yeah. We're just the flag shop. Blame the flag yeah, blame shop. The blame, flag the flag shop. shop. blame the flag but, shop. But that is the idea. And I suppose we can jump straight back straight into it. With, uh, <laughs> no, with... nothing, uh, nothing also screams a plat chat uh, World Cup where we have the wrong flag for one of the countries. <laughs> we don't know any of the people, and we've decided to go with an 11, t a nine team bracket. Uh, okay, so, which, so which, <laughs> I need to explain as well what we're doing after this. So yeah, once the yeah. teams are actually drafted, what we're gonna do is on the Plat Chat Twitter, and you can follow that at Plat Chat Podcast, we're gonna schedule some tweets, and what we're gonna do is some polls, um, and we're gonna have the countries that we have built with the teams that the, the kind of fake 2021 teams mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. face off against each other, you know, in our mind palaces. Um, but Can you, you explain to me, Bren, how will USA not win? USA? Oh, yeah. I, I don't think USA would win. I think if it's a Twitter poll, Jonathan, that people will auto vote Korea even though USA won last year. I, I no. genuinely yeah. think that everyone would just, ah, yeah, Korea's the yeah. best. Yeah. I or think it could be close. China might catch wind. Yeah, the on, VGA on forums. Yep. Is so, it VGA? I, I don't know. I'm not sure. But but <laughs> but, what, the, so. but we're going to be we're going to be running um, Twitter polls with two countries in a fake bracket, and we're going to face the teams off until we get our champion of the Plat Chat 2021 World Cup. We should World just Cup. reach out to Wait. the teams that make the finals and see if they'll play the match. That would be a great idea. What if we divide the votes by population? What? Per capita so, voting? Yeah, per th capita this, is how, voting. this is how we got a nine-team bracket. Uh, <laughs> so This is how you, Norway you wins take... without even being a team. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, when you take the population into account, because then you get the best answers. But that's because how... then if you have people outside of Sweden voting for Sweden, that means that, you know, that the, mm. the, 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 the people trust them. It's but a that's good that's also... Vote. That's how Iceland wins everything when you do it on a per capita basis. Yeah. They always sneak their way in because they have a tiny population and they're stuck inside with nothing better to do than vote in Twitter polls. Well, mm -hmm. it's about yeah. time Half the Cool got awarded something. So, it's true. You know, yeah. True, actually. You know, genuinely true. Reward. Yeah. Well, there are more people stuck inside now with nothing to do, so maybe everybody else will catch up. <laughs> maybe they'll put Overwatch League servers in Iceland. They'll have an advantage. Exactly. Get them in Hawaii, Iceland, Greenland, scatter them across the Fuji Isles. Are you ready to uh, begin with our first team? No, I'm not. <laughs> All right, our first team should be France. So we pull it up, and here they are. Here are our contestants. Uh, so let me say, I, 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 did, I did some research here. I went down the list, okay? If you're not on mm -hmm. Liquipedia, I'm sorry. Yep. There's probably someone out there who's not on Liquipedia probably doesn't even browse Wikipedia, and it's like, how am I not on this list, okay? I scoured the internet for players to find, and these were the players I could find for France, okay? I went down the list on Wikipedia of all French players. There were so many retired players. Yeah, so right. many retired yeah. players. These were about the ones who still play the game. And, well, it's pretty <laughs> straightforward. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of slim pickings. Also, I mean, we're not... Like experts at the local French scene. So it would actually be really cool if we've missed out some key players, which we undoubtedly have missed out some key yeah. players for, yeah, for some have. of these countries. But if we have, post post a, a comment in the comment section below with like who you think we, we missed off the candidacy. Because I'd love to, you know, get my eyeballs yeah. on some there, hidden talent that I wasn't aware of. Yeah. There was a couple of French damage players, I think. But I was like, you're going up against Soon, Suna and Nico. Cool. So like... Cool. Sorry, mm -hmm. mate. <laughs> you're like you're not gonna cut it, but yeah, you know, they yeah. could have been honored. But yeah, I left them out. I've heard now. I will say I've heard good things about Dredro. I haven't watched too much of him, except I mean, I might have accidentally. And I say accidentally, like like I tripped and fell and started watching a vod. <laughs> <laughs> I might have accidentally watched him whilst trying to do research on other people. Like he might have been playing on or against a team, uh, sure. of another He's rookie that I've been focusing on. But yeah, Dredro. I was talking to. Um, Trid and Hurix when I did the, the Catch Up to Contenders episode that's on this Platcher channel. And they mentioned Dredro as actually uh, a, a pretty decent talent that's out there in the scene. Yeah. So I feel like he'd and be he a plays good replacement for main support. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So I think, I believe mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Unfortunately, covering FD God's role. 
Yes, yeah. but I, I kind of want to give the shout out to him because okay. I don't feel that he's going to make the main roster, you know? Yeah, sure. Because sure. the, the big flaw with France this year seems to be from the outside, you got no unco. Like yeah. That, that's the obvious hole yeah. compared to previous. Yeah. Or hip. No unco, yeah, no but, hip. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. Yeah, hip as well. I've forgotten about hip. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's hard, I think, for a lot of these players to keep up i mean i think the flex support role is one of the most hotly contested year on year it's unbelievable yeah. and and so. also the talent that comes out of korea is insane yeah. and for other yeah. regions to compete with that is just wild all right well yeah. let's get started with the tanks who do we want <laughs> uh let me think about this one you know there are i i will say i think to josh's point uh when he was doing the contenders episode when i was looking through a lot of the uh contenders rosters and just looking into uh this year coming up there are a lot of uh french players in eu contenders so maybe not yeah. a huge crop to pick from now but if there's a lot of players had in a world um, cup in the future again maybe in every maybe region actually yeah. yeah it's just at the moment eu is a bit underfunded or just contenders in general sure. uh, it's a bit difficult for and also players to you're competing through. against ben best and poco who are genuinely yeah. like they yeah. are worlds above them in terms of experience if not talent, I Just mean, by the sheer talented. nature of being an owl. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, they've spent seasons in the Overwatch League, mm -hmm. multiple seasons, with Ben Best massively improving and Poco being a, a top level talent. Like, this is a good tank line, considering that oh, France yeah. hasn't got the largest yeah. player base this to is pick a good from team. here. This is, it's this a good is damn team. good. Yeah, now for the damage dealers, if we're to pick two here, I think soon is an insta lock. Has yeah. to be based yeah. off of experience yes. and other things and other aspects. But who do you pick now for your second DPS player? I, I think Nico would take precedent. Well, here's, me. A, here's a question that I'd like to pitch to everybody involved here. Are we just sticking with six-man rosters? Because I think if you go to the World Cup... I was playing a seven-man, actually. See, yeah. I think seven-man makes a lot of sense because you kind of... The meta's going so that you kind of need three seven. DPS. Like you need, DPS, yeah, yeah or, or okay. you could even argue like double flex support or double off tank or whatever you want to do, but yeah, the yeah. six man roster just ain't cutting it anymore. France might struggle with double flex support. <laughs> yes, <laughs> true. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be for a few countries that they'll probably have like a damage player flex to support or something if need be, because there's mm -hmm. some main double main support countries, and I'm like, <clears throat> like this one, for example. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll get to that, but I mean, I, I think at this point, if we're going to do a seven mana roster, you kind of have to pick all Tsuna, Nico, and you Tsuna. take all, you okay. take all three. Yeah, 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 yeah I think that's, yeah. I would agree. I think that's acceptable. So now we've got that. Our support yeah. line, I think, FD God and Insta Lock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for Crazy. your uh, for your main support it's player. Really good, really, really so, good. Here's the thing. Yeah, Nat is a flex player, but yep. he's sort of like edging it coming into like contenders so it's not like a standout potential overwatch league pickup but he's around you know hovering around open division lower contenders tier but he is a flex support so the question is do you want a pure flex support or do you want redro who's been around a few different eu contenders teams he's on uh, boston academy now i think um so you know he's been around like good contenders teams and actually been successful i actually i immediately so forgot is, about my gimmick too <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> uh, wait, yeah, what's I'll, the gimmick I'll here? Do it. I'll... What oh, you're doing it first? What the hell is that? that was a, it was a bowl. Don't worry. Don't worry. We've got a bowl here. Um, but we'll, I, I'll, I'll do it at the end of the French one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go on. Continue, though. But, so, yeah. Well, if the question the is, do you want, do you want Dredro as a second support, or do you want a pure flex support in that? Depends how much you value experience, I think. Because if you, if you value experience... Redraw will be your best shot. Um, because honestly, if you're a main support player, chances are they're pretty proficient on some flex support roles. It's not their main one, but yeah. I don't know if they're grinding ranked, you've got to be able to play everything, you know, in, yeah. in case you roll into somebody you else. Could say, you could say that about FD God. Like maybe you could have yeah. FD God transition over to play the more flex support kind of roles. I mean, so, at the moment as well, yeah. teams are, well, not quite at the moment, but teams like a month back were playing Mercy Brig as well, which mm -hmm. Dredro and FD God would be great at. So yeah. it's... Um, I, I would go with Dredro, personally. Is there uh, an option to call up Hip? Be like, yo, come on, bro. Just yeah. One more game. <laughs> well, that's yeah. the thing, right? There's a couple of players who are like been retired for six months and you're like, are you coming or are you just not, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
Because I mean, at some point, they're, they're like someone like Hip is like Hip. Do you actually want to come play in the World Cup, or are you just gonna stick around and? Because a player like that would potentially be interested. Like, oh yeah, you know, I'll just come back, fun. play for a little bit. Yeah, it's fun. It's a bit disrespectful to the players who are still in the scene. Possibly, but at the same time, it's not like if you're tr trying to put the best roster together, you would you, like if you were gonna sc extend this roster, you would just bring him just to have a flex support or something like that, right? Yeah, that's what I would do. I mean. I haven't watched much Nat, though. I can't say that I know how yeah. good he is, but I'm just assuming that even if Hip had not played for a while, that he would be able to come back in and be uh, a talent. I, yeah. I understand yeah. what you mean about it being a little disrespectful, but at the same time, you have to... Um, it's not like you're overlooking somebody who's on the cusp. Mm -hmm. He's playing lower level contenders. I don't think he's really gotten to the, the higher teams yet. Again, no. could be wrong. I'm not a... French no, he, no, French he hasn't. No, he hasn't. Um, okay. But, you know, he's around there and he can play support. So a big shout out to Nat. But, um, you know, here's the thing, though. Like, we've seen some success stories in the World Cup. And, you know, like, we're spending a lot of time on France here. But, you know, we're covering some of the overarching storylines for the World Cup. Like, in World Cup, we've seen some success stories with, like, people with potential being brought up. Yeah. Like, Netherlands was a big team uh, last World Cup with, like, Bruce and stuff. Uh, you brought up a get. Of course you brought up a get. I mean, oh, and this had garlic butter. That's urban garlic butter. I know it because it's delicious. No, it, well, it's actually, I mean, this is just going to be rife with product placement. We should have really got paid for this, but it's uh, it's Boursin. It's delicious. <laughs> is it's, that, what is French? It? Yeah, uh, Dupin. Oh, oui, oui. Du oh, oui. Did you never see those adverts where it's like a combine harvester coming through a field about to kill people Guess, having a picnic? Uh, Qu'est-ce que c'est? What? Qu'est-ce que c'est? No, you never saw those huh? adverts? It was a Borsan no. advert. The, these like these young couples about to um, have a... Oh, my God. I'm leaking. Is it like, leaking? Yeah, I'm leaking like, I don't know, <laughs> juice on the floor or something. But here you go, Brent. This is... Um, so what do you want me to do with this? Delicious garlic herb. I mean, literally, what you can do with this, this is how the French eat it. Is um, you dip the end of the baguette in. That is not how I think they eat it. And then just oh. open wide. Open wide. Oh, we need this golden boy in his complete. All then, right. Chomp. Oh, this is such bad bread, man. God. <laughs> the French would actually, if you showed this baguette to a French person, they would cry. I mean, it's bendy. Is that even a baguette? It looks like a. <laughs> it's bendy. It's bendy. It just, a, it just I mean, looks, like a, looks like a loaf of Italian bread. It's not even like a. Uh, a, a, a real baguette. The, the front looks like a sad it's snake. It's round. It's like a crescent. Yeah. I mean, it's just appalling. It is just an yeah. appalling baguette. It, Charles, would you call this a baguette? That is so much cheese. Yeah. That I, looks well, like yeah, a I thing of Italian bread, right? No, I'm, I'm eating some. I kind of want some. What? I regret it. It's so much cheese. Yeah. That is yeah. not good bread. That's not a baguette. That's baguette not a baguette. It's Italian mm. bread. No, it's not yes. a baguette. That's not good bread. Honestly, the All French right. would cry. I'm yeah. so glad you did this segment. Mm. This is can't wait for the other eight. Yeah, it's next great. team. It's more analysis is. put into I'm the beginning. I'm going to feed you the beginning right. of the first one as well. You're going to feed me at the beginning. Mm -hmm. We picked Dridro, right? So yeah. okay, wait, backline wait, of Fifty God and Dridro. There you go. Yeah, the next one. done. I'm Hold sure on. people are going to mold out when they see that just written down, but yeah, but you know that's how it goes. Got a value experience. The next make you make your own brackets. <laughs> Next team, Brennan, is Sweden. Okay. Oh boy. Uh, and the national food of Sweden. Yeah. One of them is Sustroming. Okay. And <laughs> if it's Sustroming, I am chucking it at your house. Uh, okay, 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 okay. What I'm going to say is when, when Jonathan sent Sustroming to Custer, he was stupid. And he opened it immediately and spilt some on himself. When I give you this next gift, <laughs> do not open it immediately and spill it on oh yourself. Oh my god, there's no way. Okay, I'm don't not opening Sustroming in the house. I have... What is Sustroming, Jonathan? Do you want to give us the background? Yeah. Uh, I actually don't know what Sustroming is. It's like it's fish. A, fish it's that's fermented. Like fermented fish, yeah, fermented in, a, in a can Swedish with some fish. oil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Swedish cool. fish in a can I, oil, and you. it smells awful, like puke level. And th then, when Cust opened it, the broadcast, the thing is, you're not supposed to open it 
like just like that because there's so much pressure in the can so when you open it that pressure just makes all the like juices and fluids just yeah. like go everywhere mm. and it smells like ass like, so it smells it is, uh... people puke yeah. when they smell this okay okay it says right there according to our japanese study a newly opened can of sushi is one of the most put putrid Putrid, putrid food yeah. smells putrid, in the world. Yes, yes. Even stronger than similarly fermented fish dishes such as the Korean Honghue. Honghue? I don't yeah. know. No, or you Japanese yep, cuisine. Absolutely, yep. Yeah. So, what I've got you is unfermented Swedish fish. <laughs> what? So, so that like means locks. you can open it. Oh, it's like locks so or something. So I can't open it. Well, yeah, no. It, uh, the only thing that's bad about the... Just, uh, oh! Uh, oh! What's up? 2.26 kilograms of Swedish fish. Swedish I thought you were going to destroy our set for a second there. There you Josh. go. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to ruin the set it's with the stroming, obviously. It's Swedish fish. Yeah, what apparently, this? apparently this is... I mean, it's not Swedish at all. I was just baiting you with the stroming thing. But apparently it's, um, <laughs> it's like a candy from the US, right? Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've never had, never them had it. I don't yeah, think it's no, Swedish at all. I don't even know why it's called Swedish fish. <laughs> no, it's just called no, Swedish it is, fish, yeah. yeah. Oh, it They're very good, though. Sweden. I don't know. Two kilograms of it. Because yeah. I thought Jamie, it was a very small packet, and then it arrived, and it was two kilograms. I can't open it. All right, well, carry on with the whole Swedish Sweden thing. Sweden as a team. All right, Who Sweden. Are we looking at? So this, this is uh, pretty, pretty easy, actually. You know, similar to France, we have had some legends retire within the scene. Uh, you know who... Uh, so we only have one main tank here. Obviously going to be Lulzish. Uh, he does still play the game, etc. Uh, when it comes to Nevix versus Elevote, the thing is Nevix hasn't been on a team since Toronto Defiant. And I think he made that Twitter longer where it was like he's taking a break, yeah. need some time off because obviously Toronto Defiant, bit of a mess last year. I think it got to Nevix and, you know, he needs some time off because he's been playing for the last few years, of course. Elevote, mm -hmm. though... Back in the Overwatch League, you know, I think you reunite Lord Decision and Elevote here, and it's pretty straightforward. And then we can talk about the DPS, but for the support as well, Gustav, he played in World Cup, uh, the last World Cup as well. He's a main support, he's been around contenders, etc. Hampe, uh, I think you pronounce it Hampe with an A instead of the 9. Uh, the thing is, we don't have any flex supports for Sweden anymore. So, Hampe was pretty much the only choice. Now, hmm. Hampe, he's been on Avoided, which is a contender team. He was on uh, Avoided for like over a year. So he's been around on contenders. Not like hugely successful or anything. But he's a Swedish flex support player. I think he got limited playtime on Avoided, depending on the meta. But then you have a solid backline of Gustav and Hampe. And then the question is, who do you pick for damage? Because you have a lot of good choices here. And they're hmm. pretty similarly skilled. This is pretty good. I mean, Kevster has to be a lock, right? No, no, I would no. say so. No Oh, yeah, I mean, strictly. yeah, one more, one more. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't spoil yourself for later, but you can have one very more. Just one more. <laughs> why did you this leave is yourself me trying uh... to tee up sideshow with yeah. Bren? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> why, <laughs> why did you leave yourself off of the list, Johnny? <laughs> because I wouldn't play. <laughs> but we could have had a good discussion about it, though. <clears throat> what do you think no, about Swedish? It, it, why would that be I a don't good? Like it. No, there would be no discussion to it. Well, there would be no arguments in favor Don't, of me over Lulzish. I like... None. When I read this, and it says, yeah. in your list here, Johnny, of notes, where you say, Hempe on Avoided for a year, I thought you Oh, you, you read meant, my notes? Oh, I that thought was you, for me. Yeah. I thought you meant you, have a, you would avoid <laughs> you even avoided it for a year. <laughs> <laughs> That's a contender no, like, This is the best Sweden can muster. <laughs> yeah, I avoided Hampe. Fuck that somebody guy. That, just somebody that Johnny's permanently avoided. <laughs> mm -hmm. He picked Moyer and did a teal. Screw that. No. Okay. No, he, it was on a contender team called uh, Avoided, but they had a few different support players. And so I don't, I'm not sure how much he actually played, but um, mm -hmm. I don't think he played in the Gauntlet, for example. But All right. I might be crazy here, but I think the choice is actually kind of simple i know that i know that that might be a little disrespectful to the people that i'm leaving behind but i think lil sish vote is obvious mm -hmm. because hemp yeah. is literally like you have to do it but then i think kevster sparker is quite yeah clearly the best duo as well over there i know that sharp's good and i've seen decent performances from him but sparker's been pounding in contenders and Kevster is an elite level player. And I think the two together cover double hit scan. They cover Kevster flexing over to more 
you know, like classic projectile picks. This would be a, a good team. It'd yeah. be a very strong DPS uh, duo. I'm inclined to yeah. agree. I, the DPS is clearly the best part of this team, even though you have Sparker who's never played an owl. But I think Sparker's yeah. really good. Well, if we're going with seven man roster, the question then is Sharp or Dan and V. Now, I, I would say Sharp, right? Because Sharp oh, yeah, has been man. in the Overwatch League. Brunezera. But Dane has more of a flex pool. Yeah. Can if I go you with don't a... want like three kind of pseudo hit scan. And obviously, Kevster plays on Genji, etc. Sparking can probably flex a bit too, but like. You, you, you get sort of three pseudo hit scan players if you pick Sharp here. Can I go for a wildcard pick of Nevix? Mm -hmm. Okay. Why is that? As a seven? Yeah. Because I feel like it's more important to have. Tank is a very impactful role. Yeah, I'm judging you. <laughs> I'm just eating cheese. Yeah. I think Tank is, at least in recent times, been quite an impactful role. And with the kind of meta opening up in recent years with like a lot of off tank being played, I think it's maybe more important to have two off tank players. Um, and I don't really worry about holes in your DPS play with Kevster and Sparker. I don't think any Swedish person agrees with you, but... Yeah. Go ahead. I don't agree with you either, <laughs> Bren, and I'm not even Swedish. Maybe it's a Swedish fish talking, but I think that... You think you want to take three DPS? I think I would dude, want to take three DPS. Dude, he's off the map, dude. He's with Snillo he, picking blueberries or something. I don't know what yeah, that means. The, yeah, yeah the, but part of the reason also is that whenever people pick World Cup... If we think uh -huh. about this as actually like picking a World Cup roster, you, you know roughly what the meta's going to be. Like, you're picking the team... Two, two months maximum out sure. from the tournament. Mm -hmm. It's not like an owl team where you have to be prepared for all possible eventualities. And I, I don't, I don't think we're going back to double off tank. If that's the case, I would pick up sharp. Mm. Yeah, just for the experience aspect. I I weigh experience pretty highly, um, especially <laughs> when playing on the world stage. Sure, sure. The I thing think it, personally, I, I might go for Dan Ed honestly because I think you you have like the powerful doom fist and like. Hardcore projectile player in there. If you need to play more stuff, I'm pretty confident I, that Sparker could handle most of the the hardcore hit scan. I kind of agree with you, Josh. Okay, I kind of agree with you. I I understand where you're coming from, but but okay, what I've seen a few times in the World Cup specifically is that when some of these players gets pulled off from like their main team, where they have like a support or a tank or a coach telling the damage players like hey this is what we're going to play and this is how you play it when they get removed from their synergy and their strategy with their team they're not great at innovating or like thinking for themselves or adapting or taking on something new in a world cup team okay mm -hmm. and this might not only be for damage players it can happen to tanks as well but when you go into a world cup team you have to start thinking for yourself and start adapting to the current team. And sometimes that can really throw off your game. So if you're, for example, a Hanso that's, you know, played with the Winston for a long time and you know when to start poking shields and like, you know, what routes you're taking, etc. Your Hanso might be off because you don't know where your main tank is going to go. You don't have experience playing with these players. I think I would go with Sharp here because you got three young damage players that can cover each other's bases and then if someone, like, doesn't get a strategy or, like, cannot pick up their game, you always have, like, a fantastic damage player to, like, sub them in and just go and do their own thing in a different way and hopefully it's better than the other one. So it, it's, it's a bit of a, you know, out of the blue, you know, okay. thinking outside the box. But I think that way you guarantee that whoever your DPS is, hit scan primarily, oh. they're just popping off because yeah, someone's going to figure out. You, cover, you have so many options. I mean, does it even really matter? Like, I think you'd mostly be playing Sparker and Kevster the entire time. I think it's just kind of preference on, like, this would come down to, like, what the meta is and what who you'd want to bring, like, as an extra player. I don't think, like, either option's, like, bad or yeah. one's, like, it's also, for sure. It's also possible that Sharp has um, expanded his hero pool a lot since he last saw playtime because he wasn't really fielded yeah, that much. But the last time he p played... I think it was on Echo. Like, it was when Echo had first released. And you, I don't normally think of him as being an Echo player at all. But, you know, maybe the it seems like he's at least more deep and could possibly offer you alternatives than just, like, the actual yeah. hit scan tracer yeah. stuff that he's known for. So, mm. yeah, you're the Swede. I agree. Oh. <laughs> Please reference your complaints to me. Yeah. <laughs> if you're a Swede. <laughs> all right. On to Norway. Oh, fuck. Denmark. I'm... Um... <laughs> 
<laughs> what could you have for Denmark? You'll actually love this. It's uh, what you'll notice is none of this stuff is authentic at all. We've had it's Americanized. We've had a fake wobbly baguette. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we've had some Swedish fish that are not Swedish and not okay. fish. Americanized uh, sweets. Yep. Yeah, and now we're gonna have uh, something Danish, yep. which, as far as I'm aware, has never been anywhere near Denmark. <clears throat> What? <laughs> what? It's uh, some Danishes. Ooh. Oh, and these are delicious. Oh, I yeah, accidentally I bought two those. packs of them, and these are the leftovers, but they're delightful. <laughs> there's, oh, uh, thank you. there's 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 apple so Danish. Good. There's like a strawberry fresh? and cream cheese or something. Are they fresh? No, I bought them yesterday. Um, but oh, well, they've that's been in the fridge. Fresh. Are they like no, supermarket brand ones, or did you go to like oh. a bakery? Uh, they are the bakery of a supermarket. So yeah, they're oh. not. They're not good. Which we went cheap with these. And again, Amer- American I feel like... bakeries are not fantastic. No, by they're any not. Means. They're really not. And Especially again, not much market. like with the baguette, I feel like any Danish person who actually ate these would think it was sacrilegious. But <laughs> he looks concerned as he eats it. <laughs> I'd be like, what the hell did they do to our food? They're not bad, though. No, they're not bad. No. I mean, they're not good, but they're not bad. Quite I wish I had Danish right now. Yeah. So, what do they taste like? Just like in like nothing, like indifferent. Pastry. It just tastes okay. like pastry with filling. Let's pull up Denmark then. Let's have a look at this team. Mm. Oh, oh boy. Interesting. <laughs> I, I'm going to be honest with you. A lot of options that I do not know here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Th- this, re- this, this country is a bit all over the place. I think you have a lot of good options. Do we want to start with DPS, I think? Sure. They have the Lead most on. players, but I think that there's a few like standout players here, and you can even like pick three at yeah. the gate. Sure. I like Shockwave. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Having Shockwave yeah. is a real standout, unexpected star coming out of. Uh, I love Shockwave. I would, He's great. I would also Checked. like to immediately nominate. Uh, oh my god, actually. I think, yeah, I mean... Who'd you go for after? Well, I was going to say Naga, and then I was like, but Shax is so much more proven, he should be a second pick. But if we're picking three anyway, those are the three you that just I take would both go of for, those, yeah. Personally, personally. I think Naga's a very skilled player that's coming in. He's playing for Paris Eternal next season. I've uh, been really enjoying watching his contenders' VODs. He's very skilled, and he plays a large range of heroes. And uh, watching him on Echo, where he can use his talents on a bunch of different heroes uh, through the duplicate is, is fantastic. Like, he's got a great head for the game, and his mechanics are superb. Um, I, I think that's a really well-rounded trio, personally, even though you're leaving a bit of a legend like Craggy on the bench. Yeah. I mean, I put Craggy in for the memes. Like, he, he's you know, not super competitive, but, like, he is good at the game. Like, he, he, yeah. he, can, he can play at a high level. But you have... I, I agree with you. Three great players in Shockwave, Naga, and Shax. Um, then for support, I think, you, you know, absolutely pick Kalex, you know, no question about it. And then the question is whether you pick Ding or Slay, who are two flex supports. Um, Ding played on World Cup 2018, but he's been hovering around, like, the bottom level contenders. And Slay, he's been on Ex Oblivion in Europe contenders. They which has a really good team. A, a pretty, they're, they're a good team, yeah, and they've had some good results. So, even though Ding has been on the World Cup team before, I think, based on merit... Mm-hmm. And again, well, usually you don't go by merit. Well, sometimes you go by merit, but like sometimes you do actually do tryouts, you know, and you see how the teamwork and synergy works out. Did you not we do don't any have that tryouts privilege. before this trial? I did not do any tryouts for <laughs> Team Denmark for the Plat Chat World ah. Twitter World Cup. But I think you go with Slay here based on merit because he's been on Ex Oblivion and had some pretty good results. Hmm. And now you what? Do... You take Malfig, right, in the tank roll? Yep. Oh, you yeah. do um, tryouts of the mind. Mm. <laughs> what? Pit, what would you do? Pit various simulations against each other. Okay. Ah, yes. In what way? Can you describe a little further? So sometimes I like to turn off the lights in my room. <laughs> and I light a candle. Uh-huh. And I listen to shamanic music. Right. Really? Yep. And uh, sometimes I go through some mental exercises. Mm. What would you... So... Okay, that's nice that you do that. But if you were using it as a trial, mm-hmm. what? How would you? How do they? Like, a trial Personally, requires I would, some. some I, would picture, problem. I would picture the map. So Nambani. I always go to Nambani. Don't know why. Okay. And when I think of a watch map, I always go to Nambani. Um, mm-hmm. Defense attack. 
pit the simulations against each other in my mind, one at a time, step by step. Oh, you're not trialing the player. You're running the simulation in your brain uh -huh. of how they would perform. Yeah. You would Do need you to find input a lot of data. You'd need to watch a lot of their VODs to have mm. a feel for how they would play and what their oh, skill I level is. feel it out. He just goes <laughs> off of vibes. Yeah, he's just going off of vibes. I could just vibe it out. Can you do um, it for us now? No, I, I'm, I, studio lights. Uh, and also... Is this, your, uh, is this your audition to become a coach next year? That you would just, uh, you would just <laughs> sit in your deep think tank with your vibes and mm. figure out strategies and lineups? Mm. He learned this from Jake. This is one of yeah. the reasons yeah, that Jake yeah. is going back to Houston. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We would just, we would oil ourselves up and get in a tent, like a candle, and yeah. uh, we would- And set yourselves on fire? No, we you would go into- be careful if you're oiled up with a candle. We, we would go into our mind palaces. In a palaces. tent. <laughs> I yeah. know, that's a, yeah. that's a very close situation. Together. Definitely yeah. not supposed to have flammable objects in a tent, especially when you're meditating, <laughs> so you've got your eyes closed. What if you burnt to death? Yeah. Mm. You would feel it before you burnt to death. <laughs> <laughs> <You'd> die. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Uh, but anyway, tank line. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <Morphic. laughs> a little bit of a diversion. Um, I'll be honest with you, I am ignorant, um, with the well, exception of Morphic. Both are pretty similar on par here. I, I remember Henningsen, uh, because he's been around the scene for quite some time now and been on a few different teams. But yeah. I'd say, looking at the record of both of these, like they got si pretty similar accolades. You know, I think Henningsen has been around longer, but Doge has had some pretty nice performances on some teams uh i wrote down in my notes Doge has actually been on dark mode and a he didn't play too much um because in the ball meta dark mode and a they play yeetle on the wrecking ball because he's like a wrecking ball expert and yeah. doge i think i think anyway he was like the stable main tank player like the reinhardt winston orisa he do did that stuff and yeetle was the ball player um but that was a team that had J Mac coaching uh, hmm. before he got a fair oh, job. Yeah. And then Moom, I was also coaching that team for a little bit, I think, as an assistant coach, uh, just for a short time. I don't know. I don't think it was during the gauntlet. Um, but in that regard, Doge has also been like with some good coaches and could learn some stuff. I think it's a toss-up between these two. That being said, it is Doge's birthday today, Monday, recording. Yo, that's Wait, pretty really? punk. I'd taken Doge is. then, yeah. Okay, all right, birthday Poor boy. Henningsen. Sorry, Henningsen. <laughs> no, I was, I was guy on his birthday. I I, mean, I've on only now. watched Henningsen, so I was going to say him, but now nah, it's Doge's Sorry, birthday. Sorry, Henningsen. It's Doge. <laughs> because it wasn't his birthday today. What's Wait, that? what is yeah. that? Was that the doorbell? Yeah. What have you ordered? Ooh, a special delivery. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I am happy with this team. If you guys are, <laughs> are you going to be happy with what what's arriving at the door? He's, had to, he's ordered something special mm. for one of the teams. That's just gonna don't go, worry. That's yeah. just going to go there, is it? That's just going to go there, and we'll just wait until later, <laughs> and then I'll pull it out, uh -huh. and that will be delightful. Um, it is worth mentioning. Henningsen was on World Cup 2019, but we picked Doge. Happy birthday. Mm. 19 <laughs> years old. Doge. Yeah, Hennington can be our, uh, he can be the backup. Yeah, we are very easily He can start swayed tomorrow. By... He can start tomorrow, the day after his birthday. <laughs> You're going to boot Doge the day after his birthday. You can kick oh. the main tank after the group stage. It's not unprecedented. Oh! <laughs> Damn. Oh, wow. Yeah. True. Oof. Okay. Woohoo! Um, <laughs> Team UK. UK Mafia. It's Aww. coming home, it's coming home, it's coming, Overwatch is coming home. <laughs> <laughs> now? What have you got for me? UK, uh, what have UK, I got for you? UK cuisine. Oh, mate, you're going to love this, actually. <laughs> I, actually, maybe you won't love this, because I looked up some UK treats, some UK chocolate, because UK chocolate's way better than classic, mm -hmm. like, milk chocolate. It's way better than just standard milk chocolate in the US. Yes. Problem is... I bought it from a U.S. shop, and I think they've just used U.K. branding and used U.S. Uh. chocolate. So I'm not sure. You might hate this because it might actually just be badly branded. <laughs> no way. Hershey's what you, or what something. What have you bought? <laughs> it's just like generic chocolate. No, 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 mate. It's a fucking, it's a variety Variet. pack of the what? finest chocolates in the UK. What kind of chocolate? I mean, if you don't like these, you, you've got Do you something know any of you. these chocolates, bro? Yeah. Do you, can Rollers you recognize are, any of Rollers these? Rose all right. Yeah. Yep. Arrows are oh, okay. Arrows are bad. They're so good. Munchie, I, I'm not a fan of. Yeah, they're, eat they're one. only alright. Toffee crisp, I quite like. Yeah. Kit are you gonna open goods. the pack and eat it? Yorkies open them. Okay. Eat Kit them. Kat, Mid Kit Kat or Ping. I just cut my nails, so I can't open anything. Open it with your Hugo's teeth. Oh, there you go. 
So yeah, this so might you think not this be Americanized. I think this might be American chocolate. Yeah. I am you so disappointed any. No, I by this. Tried any of them now? How was no. this? What you thought of when you thought of UK? Well, when you well, what do you I'm want me to for, order? Fish and chips. I'm gonna go for a roll. Fish and chips. I'm not. I can't uh, like go for a ground lamb pie. lamb pie. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not gonna cook a lamb pie for plat chat. All right. I was after something small and something easy, and I thought this would just be a little hit of nostalgia you for you. You got some beer from the UK. I could have got some beer from the UK, but that comes later for a different country. But what, what's the assessment? I feel like Rolos are the worst to do that with because it's very small chocolate, a lot of caramel. Yeah, I would Bad say. Idea. I would say Yorkie is probably. Oh, uh, Yorkie's probably the best because okay. that's just a classic chocolate bar. Just open up, open up, open up, open up. <laughs> <laughs> what is is that? Does that taste like UK chocolate? Oh, God, you are, oh, you are no. just a messy boy. Probably not. What's it, I've what's always it like? never rated Yorkie. Yeah, Yorkie's not that good. I don't think it's that good. No, it's very chalky. But I think it is the UK version. I think they mix sawdust in. Mm, they mix chalk in, genuinely. Yorkie is uh, not classified as chocolate by the EU, I think. Because it has too few, uh, too few uh, chocolate solids in it. What? Just, just chalk, mate. Okay, anyway, Trim UK. Doing a what? food review during a World Cup has to be yeah. like great for YouTube algorithm. Mm, yeah. Okay, it, it's got to love this. Interesting one here. There's a clear problem with this. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're, uh, we're actually missing one damage player as well because I missed out on it. And don't blame Kurt. Uh, it's my bad. I missed out on someone. Backbone? Uh, yeah, Backbone. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, from Sheer Cold, I think the team was. Josh reminded yeah. me that he exists. So, yes, uh, well, I, but I, I, Hybrid and Kai is pretty straight up. Kai is KSP, by the way, but he renamed, so. Yeah. I asked Smex who he would put on a Team UK. Okay. Let me try and find <laughs> Did it. Did he pick quick. himself? Did he pick himself? <laughs> <laughs> Let me try and find it. If you had to pick Team Boombox, UK I don't, I don't know if Boombox is uh, active anymore, by the way, but I put him in there. Yeah, I think, I mean, I think he would play the World Cup, but who knows? Smex said, yeah, he probably would. Probably me and Fusion. Yeah. Did he expand any further? He did, yeah. Okay. Um, and then he said KSP hybrid. Yeah. Um, and then he said the Flex DPS. I don't know. Anyone who still plays the game. Oh, yeah. well, there you go. And, welcome, and that's where, welcome to the sun. That, that really uh, is like backbone. the key problem with Team UK this year, genuinely. Mm. Is they've they've actually always had a bit of a loss in the in the DPS department. What about like they played with Mike for a year, and he wasn't like a, an elite player at the time. And then they played with um, Kib, but he's not here. He's not around anymore. I would bring Fusions and Smex. I think that's a good lineup. Yeah, I yeah, think it's a good lineup. I what wanted to give Brindy a shout out to the, the other the Flex DPS. <laughs> I, I was surprised by the amount of UK tanks here, but I wrote them down because I wanted to give them all a shout out because these are people grinding in contenders, open division, etc., trying mm -hmm. to make a name for themselves. So, you know, you rarely see the spotlight. So I figured they, you know, even though Fusions and Smex were probably the favorites, I still wanted to write down the rest and just be like, hey, these people exist and they yeah. play for yeah, your show Cameron all is actually Scottish. Okay. Oh. He's been around for some time. He's been oh. on Boston Academy and stuff, but he's actually Scottish. But classified on their UK, so you yeah. Know? I mean, Scotland is just of trying UK. to bait one of these off tanks to play in with them. Yeah, but sometimes people are year. like, oh, you know, UK. You immediately think of like England, you know. But like Scotland, you know, they're there, yeah. Wales. So yeah, true, true, true. Um, I I think though that the default roster of Fusion Smacks, Hybrid Kai, Boombox, Funny Astro is is what you would pick, and then you just also add Backbone, which is the the guy that no plays Cruise? for called. I, I I think you're really missing that projectile player more yeah. than you're missing versatility at the uh, support position. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think Cruz has always been there, right? He's always been there in the World Cup. You know, leading, motivational guy. You know, yeah. has he not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you move away from that. Uh, but they they added but, him uh, as a pity sub last year. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I mean, not really. But he was on as the seventh man, I think. Was he? Right, right. Yeah, I mean, also no. It's like, why, why would you add a, a sub main support? Well, maybe they were wondering whether he could transition back to playing Genji like he used to in the past. 
Yeah. You know? I mean, if super, if super the Goats meta didn't happen, uh -huh. then Cruz would have been out there playing Genji. Maybe we should add him as Genji. You know, last year, yeah. I, was, I was speaking um, to Team UK yeah. about getting added as the seventh man. I'm so glad and? that didn't happen. Yeah, I think I mean, you could coach, Brent. Well, they, they thought it was a fucking great idea because <laughs> it would have just been so... I, I would have just taken every interview. Yeah, I would have taken every interview, <laughs> pre-match, post-game. The lot would have been on the desk for segments. Yeah, like what do I think of Team UK? Well, I've been watching a scrimmage, and you know, the boys been performing well these days. Uh, you would have really just well. been a. Uh, you would have just been somebody who just like you know just was a fucking nuisance to the other teams. Like the practice area is going on. You got a UK jersey. Everybody yeah. knows you're not going to play. Yeah. But you're like you're trying and to then, like put your that's setup you at think. the stations. Then and they whatnot. sub me in for map five against USA. Yeah, and yeah. the fucking the, the crowd U goes wild. The They've USA. never seen you before. Yeah, the crowd USA goes wild the because the USA they wins. because the US is about to win. <laughs> get him in! Get him in! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. The other notable absence here as well is a projectile DPS that we've all forgotten to mention, Chipsa. Where's yeah, Chipsa? Well, Why isn't he? I here? didn't wrote. I didn't write him down. It's true, actually. Right, sorry, yeah. sorry, mate. Yeah, he's yeah. going to be sad about that one. No he... chips are equals like. <laughs> oh, <laughs> true, true. No, I, I, I mean, ch yeah, uh, the greatest. You ever want evidence that propaganda works? You just take a look at the Philadelphia Fusion fans convincing themselves that Chipso is a legitimate player for that team. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah. I think, uh, yeah, it's amazing. They just convinced themselves that he was just really going to play. In the Doomfist meta. Yeah, that, I know. That that's... never existed. But also, I mean, some higher up people in Philly also believed that. And that... I mean... Yeah? We're not going to get into it. <laughs> <laughs> I think, though, that the obvious choice here for me would be Backbone. I would, yeah. I would yeah. give that guy mm -hmm. a shot on the roster and see how I it went. That. I think you're... Yeah. Honestly, though, as well, these the rosters we've constructed so far, all of them have a significant weak point in them. You know, like France's backline yeah. is weak... Um, Sweden's backline is pretty untested. Uh, Denmark's, I guess, uh, tank and support line is a bit questionable. <laughs> the UK's, I think the UK's DPS is missing some portion there. And also the tank line has not really done much at the, you know, elite level since the last World yeah. Cup. So yeah. you've, uh, we're kind of, we're kind of getting through the, the quarterfinals teams right now. Yeah. I mean, possibly. <laughs> But the UK Mafia runs strong, so I expect them to at least make the finals in the Twitter poll. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're supposed to vote for who you actually think is going to yeah, win. You know, this this yeah, may be a win. team we actually may be able to get to play against. Uh, you know, somebody else. We can yeah. probably track the plot chat down. team that we'll put together. Yeah, we'll get we'll get Jake. We'll get Custer. Yeah, Jaws. Uh, we'll get Jaws. Uh, we'll get you, Johnny. Mm -hmm. And the rest of us will sit. That'd be great. <laughs> yeah, once uh once once Plot Chat uh podcast gets enough to buy an owl team, this is what our roster will look like. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're gonna buy a the, uh, city spot. We'll be the port in... the Portland Plot Chats. The, the Portland <laughs> New, New Orleans. <laughs> why would it be the New Orleans Plot Chats? New Orleans? Chats? Like, <laughs> New, Orleans? New Orleans. New Orleans. Why why? I think it would be a good city to have a city uh, a You just city. want to go to New Orleans. I do. Yeah. Yeah. I do. But so you're missing do all of the lovely alliteration. Late. Yeah. Yeah. What? You're missing the alliteration that Matt came up with, with the Portland Platt Chats. Oh, the Portland Platt Chats, huh? Portland's pretty nice, isn't Portland it? Is supposed in to be Oregon? Lovely. Yeah. I don't think it's in Oregon. Isn't it? Portland, isn't Oregon? Isn't it in yeah, Washington? It yeah. No, it's in Oregon. It's in Oregon. Seattle is, is in Washington. Yeah. We'd sign oh. a bunch of Platt level players, and we would just have <laughs> crazy fan competitions all day. Yeah, and then every time you walked into an owl game, you know you're gonna, just gonna get <laughs> just gonna get better. So you're yeah. just gonna you're just gonna watch the yeah. Portland Platts get yeah. better. We lose every week. They wouldn't we lose it. every week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll get the uh, we'll get the Shanghai Dragons cheerlead squad from season one to come come by and <laughs> do the dance for us. So remember, remember that Shanghai that, Dragons yeah, Day. That was, that was epic. That was surreal. So that was so. I was gonna say, like, my God, Shanghai's got a lot of money, and also they couldn't they play so the music that they danced to. They couldn't play the music they danced to on the broadcast. Yes. So the broadcast yeah. had different music, so the dancers weren't even synced up. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the people yeah. in the the people in the Blizzard Arena got the full actual show of like what music they were dancing yeah. to. And the people online are watching like, what? 
the hell is going I, on? I, yeah. I, remember actually, Nick, I remember Nick yeah. being in my ear. He was like, so, uh, so guys, <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, and I remember him saying, we, uh, and he started laughing. Like, so, uh, can not actually play the music on stream? So we're going to mute the broadcast. That's <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. And I, I can't remember what music they chose. Was that, was that better or the Washington aerial acrobatics? Ooh. The aerial we acrobatics should do, was We could do an be. episode. We could literally do an episode of like the like best owl walkouts and just intros. Uh, yeah. You remember when the Valiant came out with the medieval time people God. and they oh, yeah. kind of like led that them was down so the thing? Stupid. Uh, As if there had, was anyone had, ever in the Los Angeles had, history that dressed like a knight. There were angels, no? Dude, we had some sick, like, <clears throat> like I mean, they, they they tried to have some crazy walkouts. Like, remember Marshawn Lynch came out with the show? Oh, yeah. He had, like, the, he had the trophy. But, uh, like, uh, nobody so many crazy ones. Mode. Nobody watches sports. <laughs> in, if you what watch you the Overwatch League, you're probably not a watcher of endemic sports. No, not if you're there in the blizzard arena. But I bet there was a bunch of people at home that do. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there were a lot of crazy walkouts. The uh, I know the uh, the Washington one. They were supposed to cosplay as Mercy and Fire. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, but yeah. they couldn't. They didn't want to feed the flames. You know. Mm. Yeah, but, uh, there would have been a lot of Rule Thirty Four content. I, I, about I, it. Too, yeah. I think it was dangerous too. Like if you cosplay I like mean, that, and you're yeah, to wrap I think through you, rings and stuff. Like there were two probably, Washington walkouts. There was the one that one with the, the rings, and then there was also the one where. Uh, uh, where uh, Jaws came out with the T, and then Hex came out as Uncle Sam and like beat yeah. him up, battered yeah. him. Yeah, we did yeah. The, the Platch at a board show, right? So yeah, we yeah. did. Yeah, that was yeah. good. Yeah. Let's let's bring back the home stands. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just going point, outside. Yeah. I've had, I have yeah. a bit of cabin fever. Please let me out. <laughs> yeah. I I went outside for the first time um, in like two weeks yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. What was it like? Got off a call with my family, and then they were genuinely concerned for me. They were like, you need to go outside. <laughs> so I did. <laughs> What'd you do? What, what fun activities did you get up to? I walked yeah. around <laughs> yeah. the suburbs. Yeah. He took me on that same walk today. It's, it's just nice. a Yeah, it's just a walk around some main roads, and it ends in a park. It's kind of pleasant, yeah. Yeah, it's oh. quite nice. Anyway, next That's team. Cool. Canada. Yeah, it's cold in LA. Oh, Canada. I don't know the tune. What is the... What is the um, National anthem. Oh, of go Canada. on, you got it. Oh, Canada. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know the tune though, so I assume it goes like, "Oh, Canada." Oh, Canada. <laughs> yeah, it's a oh, duet. Canada. Canada. Duh. It goes, "Oh, Canada, <laughs> our home and native land, true patriot love in all of us command. With glowing hearts, <laughs> we see thee rise." The true north, strong and free. I, I was and then close. there's some more stuff. It's just like, oh, Canada after that a bunch. A it's very chilled out. That's a yeah. very relaxed anthem. They're very yeah. relaxed people. They are, actually. They're pretty yeah. chill, pretty chill. Yeah. Who have we got? Oh, wait, let me, uh, let me show What's you. What's your Canadian? Oh, God, you're not... Oh, Bacon. poutine. No, Please there's no me maple syrup. Oh, okay. So I was thinking, you know, reprise the old <laughs> gag, get some maple syrup out here and make you drink it, but... I'm not going to do that to you. So instead, I'm going to brutally open a box of these maple cookies mm. and just force feed you a few. Okay. And they, they oh. taste of maple. I don't want too many. Yeah. Maybe. Get that on, in your mouth. <laughs> on another how one. many how can many you, you can eat fit. before you get water? See how many you can fit. You can get another one in there. One. No, I've, no, I've seen your mouth. It's like a chimp. <laughs> there put, we go. put five in there and then whistle. <laughs> 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 Delicious, right? I do like, uh, I want to say, I, I appreciate the effort here put in by Josh to it's get, just he essentially snacks. just went to a supermarket and bought generic things that could have re represented, like, none of these really have a strong, like, No, they like, do, even, look, it's maple. It's <laughs> the maple syrup it's cookies. It's the maple. supermarket brand maple cookies. No, so they're, they're, made syrup. Anything with Canada. they're made with actual maple syrup from where, Canada. Where are they made? Where, where, yeah, are they made? where are they made? They're made from Canada. No, well, where are they made? Where made oh. uh, wait there, wait there, wait there. They're made with real ingredients and no artificial <laughs> flavors. Product where of Canada. It says at the bottom, product of Canada. Spartanburg. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, it's a product of Canada. Where is it made? Spartanburg. Spartanburg. It says Spartanburg SC. 
Whatever that is. Spartanburg is a city in northern South Carolina. <laughs> yep, yeah. It's in South Carolina. So, yeah, it's a product of Canada made in... <laughs> yeah, pretty good. Can we, pretty can we good. pull up the Canada roster players, please? Thank you. Mm. Yep. The, so these are a lot of options, honestly. Yeah. A lot of options here. Um, and they contenders, a lot of Canadian players. So, you know, I just threw them all in there. Wow. Yeah. I uh, Actually, yeah, it has to be said, um, Kabimas is actually... Uh, uh, what is it called? Like, not when you're like in two different countries. Yeah, dual citizenship or whatever. I don't know if he has citizenship even. But he's listed as uh, Venezuela, I think, and Canada. Mm -hmm. So he's actually playing in uh, South American contenders. Uh, but he's actually has quite good success in South American uh, contenders. So I don't know if it'd be the great fit. You have a lot of great options here. Um, of course, because it's Canada, they have a lot of great support players. But still, the third to be mentioned, Kabimas. There you go. You are breathing heavily after eating those cookies. <laughs> I mean, this is a lot of sugar in them or what? <laughs> He's huffing and puffing, I mean. <laughs> All right, where do you want to start then? Should we start with the main tank position? I think you start with DPS. Just get... Okay. I mean, well, actually, it's quite hard. Because is Sheriff we're going to play? Is Mangachu going to play? I saw Sheriff uh, was playing some Overwatch the other day with uh, Soda Pop and Moon Moon and that whole gang. Yeah, I think Soda. I think uh, I think Sheriff would play in something like this. I think uh, I I think he still uh, appreciates and likes the game enough to to kind of come back for something like this, especially just for the fans. And it's like a little bit more of like a laid back, obviously, than like a whole uh, yeah. owl season, like. I think it's a bit different to like, we were having the discussion when we were doing France, right? Of whether we should include Hip or Unco because they just yeah. retired this season, but they've moved on to another game. Like they've said they yeah. want to go professional in Valorant. So that's different to me than Shurfor who said he wanted to go into content creation just take, and a, take break. a break for his mental health. And then he said, I think that he was considering coming back during Overwatch 2 whenever that released, right? So yeah, I, I think, you know, Maybe he wouldn't, but he's at least a candidate to consider. You know, like you, you would at least ask yeah. him. You know. <clears throat> so I, I think, I think we can include him. Yeah. yeah. I don't. What team does Dimes play for? I don't know Dimes. How good is he? Dimes, uh, he's a flex player. Uh, I think he primarily plays like the Doomfist and Genji kind of heroes. I could be wrong on that. Uh, plays on Square One, average results in contenders. For the most part so like another flex player from canada with average contenders results really i want to mm. say what is it yeah i mean canada I, I am putting myself out there talking so much about players that i i've watched limited play time off that i could just be so wrong and i could just have an absolute pitchfork in contest after me once we're done with this episode because i'm just out there commenting yeah, but about all of these at players. the end of the day even if we've got the details wrong at least we're putting the names out there you know Exactly. Putting some, oh, yeah. putting some eyeballs on. I should be grateful. No one can watch. No one can watch the entirety yeah, yeah. of Contenders. Like, we're grateful. supporting tier yeah, two yeah. right here. No, no, nobody can watch the entirety of our episodes either. So they may not even get to this point where you, you would be getting it wrong. True. Yeah. All right. I think you go for sure foreign agilities personally. Yeah. Yeah. I I, think, I'm yeah. absolutely inclined to agree with that one. Yeah. I mean, and I you, agree with your viewpoint on sure four as well. I think it's a completely different ball game. For players that are taking a break. I mean, the, 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 world, the World Cup is not a walk in the park. It's still a lot of work, a lot of scrimming. That's why some players choose not to play in it for, uh, for, the, for to take a break. But yeah. Yeah. It's easier I, than I could now. see, though, uh -huh. if you were sure for, you would probably want to play in this to kind of remind people like you, you would be interested in playing competitively eventually again. I think, you know? it's, I think it, it, it probably thinks it's fun too. Like most yeah. of the quote-unquote issues that Shurfor has faced is when it's been on the likes of Toronto Defiant or, you know, been in the LA Gladiators, which had some questionable, like, player choices at times and, like, all over the place. Like, he's been on a tough spot when it comes to the Overwatch League because he's, like, he's like a flex player. Like, we, we, we think of him as, like, can play all of these different heroes, but he's never, like, truly a starter and he's, like, in and out of lineups and, like, he's had a rough go with. But when it comes to Team Canada, like, I think he enjoys it because it's, you know, yeah. a different atmosphere and mm -hmm. yeah. competitive. I, I'm not going to lie, though. The more we look at these Canadian rosters, the more I feel that they would just flop like last year. Like, Canada mm -hmm. really didn't hit the same performance last yeah. year. They were playing with uh, XQC and main tank. 
I can't even yeah. remember the full roster for them. Well, I say last well, year as if it was 2020. I mean 2019, the last time that we actually had a World mm-hmm. Cup. And Canada just did basically nothing. Well, and I feel like the... there's some serious holes here still. Like there's there's not yeah. a there's not a fantastic solid uh, hit scan DPS pick. You have really Crimson and Rolf to pick from in terms of the flex supports, and I think Crimson is pretty good. I think he'd be a pretty much yeah. a lock for that position along with Paintbrush. Yeah. But then when you move on to the tanks, it's like it's a bit similar to the UK for me, where you have players with experience, but they've never. Make the push Wait, to like paintbrush is American. I was like, why is paintbrush here? He's from the United States. Oh, get him out. <laughs> well, I, I actually have no idea. I can't tell Canadian. Johnny's trying to sneak him into Canada. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus up. Christ. Right, well, I mean that complicates things even more. No, Nolan Paintbrush Edwards is an American player currently playing for revival. Okay. Bro, bring back the United uh, States. Yo, get ba- get Banny in there. Get Banny in there. For main support, why not? And he's been coaching for two years. Or at least a year, <laughs> hasn't he? I think just sure. a year. Yeah, I don't think yeah. he's been two years. I mean, he's been out of the game. Would you take a risk on K- Kabamas? Who are the other players? Autumn Souls and Zolik. Are, are they all flex? They're all flex support players, aren't they? Uh, Solik is main support. Kabamas oh. is main support. Autumn Souls is flex support. Most of uh, open division, uh, like bottom kind of contenders. Not really achieved anything. Uh, Rolf and Crimso are flex support, uh, so you need a main support, which is either Kabimas or Solik. Throw throw him in. I know. Kabimas. I mean, I'm Kabimas. pure Kabimas. in there. Get him in. Venezuela, Canada. Get him in. Mm-hmm. You know, Crumbs is, I think, um, Venezuelan and grew up in Canada. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say that, but I didn't want to out him. I I don't know how much he shares with people <laughs> about his youth. Let's move on. Fine. <laughs> I mean, I was thinking, did he ever tell me not to tell someone? I don't no. think so. He's all, I, I think, think so. he sh- shared pictures of him sailing and other stuff. So. Sure, yeah. yeah. I just, I don't share pictures of where Matt grew up because he doesn't want everyone to know he was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. It's true. Is he Looked Canadian? after until the age of 13. And... Palace. Is Matt yeah. Canadian? Is who Canadian? Me? Matt. I don't know. No. No, I'm not Canadian. No, no, no. No, no he's, he's no. half English. Yeah, Matt grew up in the depths of Gloucester. No, no, no. Yeah, no, hell no. I didn't grow up in a... No, a actually, there's, no, yeah, there's yeah. no one who had a silver spoon in their mouth who came from Gloucester. You'd be surprised. <laughs> yeah. What, really? I mean, there, there like is big... wealth inequality everywhere you look. True, true. People it's a big, like, farming families. Gloucester. Pheasant owners. If you think of Gloucester, <laughs> you know how games portray, like, the Cheese depressing, manufacturers? depressing Victoria-era... English towns. Yeah, just yeah. Dickensian horror like, wherever there's, you There's look. fog coming in, gothic tall buildings, and there's like on the hill there's a manor. Yeah. Where the People lord just of the angry town. and drunk in the streets. Yeah, and on the, on the hill there's a, a lord living in his manor, and he's taxing the people too much, and there's a town crier, and the yeah. woman crying for money, you know, it's like... It, it's That's like Gloucester. That is like Gloucester. Yeah. So you the must have had a good view the from the, the king's castle at the top, watching everybody complain to your family. You think this man, you think this man was born at the top of the tower? I mean, that just shows how, how distant I was, and unrelated you are exactly. from the people, man. I was a plankton what do you mean? in yeah. the food chain. A this plankton? man is a plankton. He's I was currently the, I was a plankton. Bottom. I have about the same brain capacity as a sea snail. <laughs> <laughs> he is krill for yeah. the rich whales to exactly. mop up. Mm. Exactly. Um, we, have, we, have more, we have the tanks to get through. Um, getting off track yeah. again. I don't know why. I mean, the obvious picks I would say here are Shredlock and Note, aren't they? Yeah. Th- those yeah, would be absolutely. the obvious, but is there an argument for any of the others? Probably. I just don't know enough about the Canadian uh, scene. Okay, I'll run it through. The, 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 the research presented by Reinforce. Uh, Falls is an off-tank. Uh, I'm currently on Boston Academy and used to play for Karasuno, so he's been on North American Contenders. If you're on Boston Academy, you know, I think Boston Academy, they have some issues qualifying for Contenders at some point. Like, they were in the qualification yeah. system, I think, at some point. But if you're on an Academy team, usually means, you know, you got some talent, you know, and I think you look at the rest of that roster and no, they have some talent. I don't talent. think Boston so, did very well at all, though, did they? No, I, I don't think they did so either, but, you know, yeah. They, you know. Anyway, okay. he's on an academy team. Uh, I see he's a bit of a veteran. I remember I see he's been around the scene for a long time. Yeah. He's been around on a few different teams, uh, mid tier contenders. Uh, Akawa is a main tank, also been around. I remember his name. He currently plays for Harrisburg University. Oh, um, that's where I knew his name from. Yeah. With yeah. Joe Meister. 
and uh, uh yeah and uh well joe meister is the coach right yeah or like yeah, the manager yeah, or something the yeah and then chain i think is mostly known for his reinhardt play i think he's also a veteran i think he might be retired but he did play yeah. last year and i might be looking for a team now i'm not quite sure so um out of these ones i think yeah shredlock and note they're pretty much locks but there's a few different contenders alternatives here if you wanted to take a risk on someone hmm. i think this roster you should probably throw in another main support because we don't know really how good Kaby Mass is. Is that crazy talk? <laughs> I feel like that's Zolik. Yeah, I feel like you just Zolik. throw both of them in and maybe one of them is good enough. <laughs> is that a very <laughs> good Mangachu. Just... Mangachu can play Lucio. Yeah, what about I Mangachu? Would, he I plays prefer... everything. He can play DPS, he can play some support. I... He can play Mangachu tank. Tired, it? The last time yeah. I saw Mangachu, he was actually playing classic WoW PvP and we were ranking. <laughs> Did it, oh, yeah, uh, did it Mangachu, uh, Mangachu had to play a game on Tank in the last World Cup, right? Because uh, XQC was filming some Overwatch 2 thing. Remember the yeah, first round? Yeah, that what? He had to play right. Tank. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that might have been part of why Canada was uh, pretty poor last year. Yeah. Why Why okay, not, look why at this not toy. times over Mangachu? Does this toy that Hugo just dragged in look like what you would think a Canadian dog toy would look like? Hold on. If it's not well, a maple leaf, the answer it's is toy. Yeah. It looks very oh, yeah. Canadian. What is oh, that? Yeah. He's like a bear with flaps. Like an octopus uh, bear. Like flappy hands. An octopus. What is, no, what is that an, toy? This is not an octopus. Johnny. This is a bear. <laughs> he was saying it's an octopus bear. Like it has eight legs. Eight and he's got a little... Legs. He's got a scarf, too. He's very mm. Canadian. Yeah. I, yeah, I think he looks pretty cool. Dogs are very good at destroying objects, aren't they? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. My family yeah. have got a cat, a uh, new cat recently, mm. and it's more of a dog than a cat. It's um, mm. it's uh, it's like a crossbreed. Yeah, a it's, it's a mixed cat with a <laughs> Bengal. Ah. Like one of its parents oh. was like half Bengal, I think. Um, and it it's definitely inherited the Bengal side because it is mental. Um, and I got sent a video the other day because it snowed and it was his first interaction with snow, and it was just perplexed <laughs> it walked into the garden and it was just hopping everywhere because it didn't know what the, the cold sensation was it's quite cute that is pretty good yeah. and i'm not going to show you the video mm. um I yeah like why not dimes over mangachu hmm? why not dimes over mangachu is Di has I, dimes man got more uh, recent can experience be, he can cover all bases he can play some tank he can play some dps hey uh, you throw him in support he'd probably be able to do I that as well uh, again i value recent experience more than the flexibility option of Mangachu filling in for XQC. <laughs> <laughs> That's just me. Well, yeah, why don't I we think, just have XQC play? I think having Dimes in over Mangachu would be the right approach to building this team if we were to take it seriously. But then again... You just picked our support because you liked his name better than the other guy. I think he's had more success, arguably in a weaker region, but... If you were picking players based on their names, I think Autumn Souls. I mean, I think that's yeah. up there. Autumn Souls <laughs> yeah, is a great. I think that's an yeah. argument. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna listen. I'm not gonna die on this hill. You can have Mangachu in the team if you want. Yeah, you know this. This roster does not inspire faith in me, though. To be honest. Yeah, I yeah, feel like this. Feel this sort of feels like Sweden in 2018. We were like, okay, maybe it's time to rid of the old guard, you know, and like actually bring in some new players, motivated. Bring in a coach, you know, bring him up to speed. It feels like we have some, so, some, some people that like hasn't been in the loop for too much, you know, taking a break, whatever, which is fine. They're still great players, but I think there are probably some hungry Canadian players that are like, yo, I'm grinding this game. It's time for my shot. Yeah, sure. So, sure. that's why we're bringing Manga Chew in. <laughs> <laughs> Play Tor again. I'm <laughs> kills. <laughs> So we're killing their dreams of bringing right. Mangachu back. <laughs> Lock it in. It's Lock good, it in. Move it's it good on for out. the SEO. I think uh, we're actually now. I getting can't into, wait for this next tweet. I think we're actually now getting into our first competent, like all-round team. I could okay. be wrong here. Well, what have you got food-wise mm -hmm. for Finland? This is the one so where I don't have food. No, you don't this have is food. one where I don't have food. Wait, what? Instead. I've gone for, when I think of Finland, I don't think of Finnish food. It might be because I've never been to Finland before. But um, what I think of is the incredible language, actually, oh, is how complex <laughs> and long complex the language. words get. Yeah. And so yeah. in order to help break down that complexity, 
I bought you a book. <laughs> what? And this this book is called Fast Talk Finish, and it's called it says guaranteed to get you talking. So I don't know what kind of people you're supposed to be giving this to who aren't talking, but you really want them to. <laughs> and this is if you're going to Finland, no one's talking to you. Well, they are if you use that book. You present well, them the, the book it, and you go, now you have to talk to me because you're guaranteed to talk. <laughs> well, let, let's hear you talk. So say okay. something, Brenna. I, oh, I think what we should do is actually, though, I think we should give Brenna a while to study a <laughs> phrase while we discuss the team. And then okay, I think yeah, we should come back to him and Bren can impress us with his incredible finish skills. Yeah. So this one actually has a lot of options. I was surprised by how many contenders players there are hmm. from Finland. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of like, I, I, I feel bad because we're inevitably going, going to pick or like leave someone out that probably deserves to be on the team because there's so many good options here. But do you want to start with the tank line? Ignore me. Just, <laughs> sorry. Talk, I talk, talk, talk tank line, I'm just, I'm just going, okay? Uh, off tank is going to be Vestola because he's the only off tank I could really find on the side of Finland here. Um, he was, uh, he, he spent, he spent on uh, Ex Oblivion, I think, for a little while in a way. So that's a decent European contenders team, you know, plays the off tank. But then it's Elich, Cloudy, or Milky Man. Both mm. of these are young Finnish main tanks, okay? Elich, Cloudy was like the next big thing after Froggy. But Milky Man was the other one who was like, hey, I still exist. Elich, Cloudy is getting all the attention as like the next big Froggy. But Milky Man is also like 19 years old, been around the scene for a very long time, played on numerous different teams. <laughs> And has actually achieved some decent <laughs> results as well. Um, and he was on uh, Giganti for a year as well. So it's a pretty close case between Cloudy and Milky Man. Um, but Vestola is a must pick here because he's the only off tank. Yeah, I, I don't know who to pick between Cloudy and Milky Man because I feel, yeah. like, I feel like I might have even seen better stuff from Milky Man when I was watching him when he was in Contenders. I haven't watched him recently though, so I don't know what his recent form is like. But that is also, I think, a, a, a factor of Cloudy moving up to Owl and facing much oh. stiffer opposition. And the only time we saw Cloudy in Owl is when the Gladiators just decided to use him as a battering ram and just p p run him in on Reinhardt, just bashing everybody it down. Uh, we didn't really get to see like a lot of uh, well, he played, um, versatility. From he, alternated, he, played some... he alternated on Paris Eternal with Ben Best. He yes, was like was one, season, one stage in, one stage out with uh, him and Ben Best. But... That team just looked so mediocre, but I don't think it was necessarily on him, you know? No. You could gamble with uh, Milky Man here. Like, if you're like, oh, you know, we know what we have with Cloudy. Like, maybe there's a higher ceiling, potentially, you know? I don't hate that idea. I, like, take I, Milky Man and Vistola. No, no. Yeah. So, I mean, what would you say, Jonathan? I, I would actually kind of also want to gamble on Milky Man, but... I do think that people give Cloudy, not a bad, but like a meme reputation at times. Because when he did come in, he was playing the Reinhardt. He was going for a lot of flanks. But if you actually speak to people who play against Cloudy, they will be like, he has some of the best Reinhardt mechanics in the entire league. Like he's one of the best Reinhardt players yeah. in the world. Because he's so refined on that hero. You know that Reinhardt mod? That uh Yeah, the Sata Reinhardt. The Sata, yeah, yeah, Sata made that Reinhardt mod. Like Cloudy practiced that so much. Like he has the mechanics figured out. Like he knows that hero better than most people. Like it might be like super and then it's LH Cloudy. Like that might be the list, you know? He's that good on that hero. But when it comes to the other heroes, that's when you really have to bring him into question. I think Milky Man is a good shout for like a new young Finnish roster, you know, you're Moving on from the old guard of like Taimu, Shaz, Big Goose, yeah. um, even RCK was the off tank for this yeah. team, right? So I think Elish Cla uh, sorry, I think Milky Man and Vestola could be fun to watch actually, but I don't think we should look just like meme about Cloudy and its Reinhardt tanks. No, I oh, yeah. the, the thing is as well, I'm always worried about assuming that contenders players have higher upsides, just because. Okay, well, Cloudy and Milky Man were both in contenders, right? And when yeah. Cloudy goes to the Overwatch League, he's facing much stiffer competition. So he's naturally going to look worse. Even if he's better than Milky Man, he's going to look worse than him just because he's playing against better players. So I, I think there's a bit of a trap that people often fall into where they, they kind of... You, like you're saying, you know what you're getting with Cloudy, and you're just really hoping that you're getting better with somebody yeah. else. Even though there's not... Yeah. 
there's no good argument to really believe that you're going to get much better, but you're just hoping against hope. So I don't know. I, 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 can, see, I can see both sides of it. I think Cloudy's the safer bet, but you want to play it safe uh, or you yeah, want to go for I, glory? I agree with you. I think it's a bit of a toss-up. And if, you, if anyone who watches this feels strongly about it, I, I think you can make a case for either of them. Um, Especially if you've watched the them more, more recently. Like, I haven't watched Milky Man for months, so yeah. I have no idea what his recent form is like. I, mean, I kind of feel like really Cloudy well. deserves to go based on merit, but I can see how some people want to pick Milky Man. Mm. Yeah. So, oh, so we Vistola decided what, Milky pick. Man... What did you say, Johnny? Vestola is a must pick, because he's the only off yeah, tank. Yeah, Vestola is definitely a must pick. Who did we decide out of Milky Man and Cloudy? I, I say Milky Man. I say just send it. <laughs> okay, well, I feel bad for Cloudy because I feel like he should be there, but... Yeah, I would Milky rather Man, go with Cloudy, honestly. I mean, you, so almost you, sold me. you almost sold me with your idea, Matt, but I, I would rather go for... Because I think this team actually has a chance of doing something serious in a World Cup aspect, and I think that Cloudy is your best bet. Even if your main tank position ends up being yeah. a little weaker than, like, the elite teams, you could still muddle through. All right. I think... I think I'd want to do the uh, the supports next because I think yeah. it's quite simple, yeah. isn't it? Like Massa and yeah. Ripper are the clear. Yep. Yeah, I was absolutely. Say yep. Yo, Masa Fee, is obviously, wasn't really pretty good. sure he came for a bit, but um, I think Massa is obviously better. Yeah, I wait. Who? Sorry. Oh, Yofi. Yofi was obviously on Hurricane for a bit, right? Uh, yeah. Didn't. Yeah, I think he even Honestly, got booted I thought Yofi before. Was Swedish. I didn't even realize he was Finnish. No, yo. I yeah, I thought check. Yofi was Swedish. I didn't even realize. No, I, I, it's oh, probably me sure just being he's... wrong and mixing up the Scandinavian countries. But I, I mean, Johnny Maybe Dalton Sinatra was Canadian. I don't know. Yeah. No, I, di I didn't think that, okay? <laughs> you know? I also forgot about some other notable players, but we don't mention those uh, because we fixed it. Uh, Massa is yeah, very Masa... talented, though. Even without, even without Big Goose being available mm -hmm. for this Finnish team, I don't think you're missing too much by going down to Massa. Massa's a... Yeah. You know, he hasn't shown his best last year with the Atlanta Reign because that whole team looked pretty mediocre, but he's a good caller. He's a good player. He's a very talented main support player. What yeah. do you do with the DPS here? Linkster is a must pick, right? Do you think that, though? Because isn't... I don't know. The thing is, there's so much talent in the contender scene coming out from the Finnish players. Like, we could have added Monk Mudda to this list as well, who was, like, tearing up stuff back on the snipers way back when. But... The last time they trialed this Finnish team uh, for the World Cup, didn't they say that Ricky Monk pounded Swedish, everybody? Monkmud is Swedish? Wait, really? Yeah, because his name is... Uh, let's not talk about it. Dude, it's like I, profanity. It's like profanity. It's like slang profanity in Swedish. Oh, uh, right. Uh, I, I always mix up Swedish and Finnish players then, apparently. But yeah, the last time that they were trialing this uh, Finnish roster... Didn't they say, didn't the coaches say that Ricky was destroying everybody at uh, Widowmaker? That rings a bell, actually. Yeah, I think they said yeah, that. Yeah, it does. I think they wanted Ricky yeah. as their, like, seventh man. Because he was not only, I think he, okay, I might be messing up my history of Ricky completely here. <laughs> but I think at the time, he was pounding on, uh, on May, playing for that team that played, like, the Orissa... Og May sniper strats. Clockwork the Vendetta. Monk played for. What, sorry? Was that Clockwork Vendetta? Yes, Clockwork Vendetta. Yeah, oh. I forgot their name. But I think he was the May player for that, wasn't he? And then he kind of surprised everybody during the Finland trials because he had such an incredible hit scan. But I, I haven't been following these guys in contenders since then. So that's the, all the information I'm kind of working off. Pidan yeah. Rikista. Sorry? <laughs> Pidan Rick is still. Are you not going to let me see the translation? We have no idea what you're saying. It sounds like your audio cut out. And you're just you're just not even. Pidan Rick is still. <laughs> He's just saying it over and over again. We're Rickster? not going to know what you mean unless you translate it. Are you saying Ricky something? Yeah. Ula. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Does that mean cool? No, does that mean... Kulla in Swedish means hill. I don't know if it's the same. Kulla. It means hill? Well, you know, cool cross means funny. Kulla. Funny? Yes. 
Oh, it means yes. Cool. Oh. Uh-huh. Yeah. I don't know why that I think no. Swedish to Finnish is like, they, they, yeah, I don't know. They're, they're not even the same language family, surely. Pitan Rikisto. I want to pick Ricky. I like Ricky. I like Ricky. <laughs> okay. There you go. Nice. All right, we're taking Ricky there then. Take Ricky. Put him nice. on the team. All right, so we got a few different options here. Um, Sauna actually renamed to Solarity, so that's another mess up from my part. He was listed at Sauna, but then I noticed that his actual name is Solarity now with a one. You know, I, okay, I, I, you know, I, interrupting this broadcast. Can we get rid of the, the numbers in nicknames? Okay. I actually used to have numbers in Reinforce when I was like 11 years old, but I moved past that. Can we like move on from that? If you're watching this and you're a player with a, with a number in your name, we can do better than that. Please. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, Solarity would have won. Sorry, mate, not a fan. Maybe if your name was Sauna, I would have picked you based on name uh, alone. You know, you and Autumn Falls or something. Autumn um, Falls. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, there's a few different players here. Olu is a flex player for Harrisburg University. Doesn't have a ton of experience playing though. Kriya is a hitscan player. Uh, not a ton of experience either. Flex or oh. Cloud is a flex player who played for Ex Oblivion as well. And we already yeah. talked about how Ex Oblivion was a good team as well. Uh, haven't seen a ton of footage on any of these guys, but you know we're picking a roster here. We're not analyzing Overwatch. You know we're picking a roster. You know like I, with coaches or something. So, I think Cloud seems like the best bet. Again, yeah. don't know much about the guy. Haven't watched his VODs, but that team was good. And I watched that team play. I just can't, I didn't really pay attention to Cloud. So I don't know if, if this has been said already, but maybe we should take this with a grain of salt. You know, like this is rough teams. <laughs> <laughs> you know, really? Think, really? Yeah, you think kinda, we should take, really? You think the audience should be uh, speculative? Not speculative. You think the audience should be uh, kind of using their own well, you critical know, f- thinking fan bases. when assessing our rosters? F- fan bases go through like phases, you know, like they, they, it's like a, an oscillating uh, fan experience where like sometimes, you know, they really feel upset about something and sometimes they're really happy and like support everything you do. I feel like this is a catalyst for something bad unless people understand what, that we're doing this for fun because we didn't have a World Cup and we're just messing about. So, you know, mm-hmm. like maybe maybe if Milky Man didn't get picked here. Maybe don't make a Reddit thread about it. You know, it's it's, <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> but don't sort of hashtag get it trending. You know, <laughs> like <laughs> milk the man. You know, we don't need, we don't need any of that. Justice for the cow. Justice for <laughs> justice, milk. <laughs> justice for milk man. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> anyway. Yeah. yeah. So, I feel pretty. I feel pretty is. good about that Finnish roster though. I feel like that would do some work, honestly. Like, I feel better about that finish roster than I feel about any of the other rosters we've constructed so we far. Put the guy there, you yeah. think no, this roster true. would beat Sweden? What is Sweden again? It was Lulsish and Elevote. Lulsish, Elevote. Oh, Kevster, Sharp, Sharp, Kevster, Sparker. Sparker, Gustav, well, and... Uh, the problem is the backline. Hum- I don't know how good that backline is, whereas I feel like Finland's pretty well-rounded. Oh, I mean, d- <clears throat> Sweden is carried hardcore by its DPS, though. I don't you know you don't it- give any credit to Lundqvist and Elevot here. L- pretty- Elevot is literally on an Overwatch League team. I think no, they're pretty decent, no, no. but I, I, I don't think that they would be carrying the games against Team Finland. I think that would be Kevster and Sparker. That would be I, okay, here's what we're doing, okay? We're going to see this bracket somehow. I demand that Sweden and Finland go up head-to-head first. Okay. Because I, I think Sweden would dominate. <laughs> all right, all right. I think that's very reasonable. I don't agree with you. I don't think they dominate. Master. I think it would be a good Too game. Good. But yeah, maybe Sweden Okay, Masa, Masa, Masa and Reaper is actually pretty Masa good. Masa and Reaper is so. real. The thing is, if you had yeah, Masa Reaper. and Reaper with the rest of Team Sweden, what a roster. That would be yeah. sick, You could blend yeah. the two together. Some kind of a Swinland. Swinland. <laughs> Swinland. Yeah. Or you wouldn't Sweden? go for Finn then? It is like, like Denmark. It is, I feel like I am doing a podcast with a <laughs> mumbling Myrtle over here. Yeah. Like he's just a constant background noise, a very bad finish. And I have no idea what he's saying. He's whispering satanic truths in my ear. And I'm going to, it's like, the the mm. craze the fear in the what was it the seventies where if you played the record backwards your child would run off and go for the witches. Toyota? 
Huh? Vodka or toys, ta? No, thank you. Vodka? Vodka toys? toys? Void. Void. Vodka. Toys, vodka. Ta? Toast. What does that mean? Could you repeat that? <laughs> <laughs> After uh, after COVID's over, we're definitely taking money out of the pa- plot shop budget and sending you to Finland with that book and seeing if you can <laughs> exist. Have I said my idea yet for what I want to do once COVID's over? No. Involving no. the Buffalo Bills tailgating? Oh, what? you did. T- you told me this the other day. I, but I, so I you tell me this. so many he, he, ridiculous ideas. So I, mean, I want to take. Just... I want to take me and Kurt. Okay. To a Buffalo Bills tailgating session. This is just to get Kurt to a Bills game, by the way. You're going to have to explain that. What the hell are you talking about? So, in the NFL, (laughs) tailgating sessions is where in the parking lot, they all drink and have a good time before the game. Okay. In the morning. I want to go to a Buffalo Bills tailgating session. What is a Buffalo Bills? Team in the NFL. Oh, right. Okay. Where are they from? Buffalo. Oh, Oh. that makes sense. Uh, So, here's a tailgating session. Okay. In Buffalo. What is that man doing with that I woman? I think he's about to slam her through no, the table. No, he is not. Uh, with her yeah. permission? Oh, what? Oh, why? What oh, am well, I? messed it up. And they're going to round two. Why would they do this? So the, this is, this like is the Bills fun. Mafia. But why is he slamming oh, women oh, through oh, a table? Oh, oh, oh. This is the Bills Mafia. Why is so the I, fat man not going through the table himself I if he wants got, to break the table? They got permission. Well, no shit. If he wasn't with permission, that's oh. assault. <laughs> yeah, oh. he did get permission. Oh. That is horrific. Oh, oh my there god. Goes so my, I- my idea is, I go to <laughs> the Buffalo Bills tailgating session. Me and Kurt. I dress up in a suit, and I pretend that I am um, doing a just a sports program. Yeah. Um, and what I'm going to do is, I'll say quite confidently. So, what do you feel about? Um, how do you feel about jo- um, Jonak's chances this year against uh, Josh Allen? Right, right. Um, but I'll basically... Jonak's chances against Josh Allen. Yeah, or like, how do you think? Uh, how do you think the new New York pickup, uh, you know, Feather's going to be performing against uh, some of these players like Josh Allen and uh, everyone else? I'm going to be sa- I'm going to be saying this. I'm going to be right. interviewing. Okay. Really drunk Buffalo Bills fans, knowing that they don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, yet okay. they are 100 percent going to hype up their team. Right. So the plan is go to these tailgating sessions and just get them to talk about the Overwatch League without realizing. <laughs> I actually think that's a great idea. Uh, this is an, is yeah. This? So oh this is what you can God, come to Why expect. is this a thing? Why is this a thing? All right, I'll, I, will, I will approve of this expense only if I don't we think get it'll video. Cost much. It, only if we get video of you being slammed through a table. That's the only way I I'll will I'll slam myself through a table. Why? Yeah, if we can get you in a suit in front of these people to yep. get them the chance, like, Overwatch League, and then you just jump through a table, I'm okay spending Platchat money on that. Yeah. Why is this a thing? It, it would be a waste, but, I mean, sure. Well, also, not? where are they getting all the tables from? I don't, I don't know, Target, I think. <laughs> that just Target must be, must be anyway, killing sorry, it that, that, sorry for the tangent. That's my, this is my, um, my pitch. My mind Let us know in the comments wrong. if you want to see that in, in three years or so. Yeah, whenever the world opens up again. Back to studying. <laughs> all right. Well, you I have to we, move aside. I think we locked down our team anyway. Do you want to give us your, uh, your thesis on Finnish? You want to ask me some questions? Yeah, sure. I don't speak Finnish, though, so mm-hmm. I'm going to... We'll role play as I am a dumb English tourist mm-hmm. in Finland mm-hmm. in the middle of Helsinki, and you're a savvy Finnish man who's trying to, you know, be, become friends with me, but you don't speak any mm, English. Okay. So I'm going to... Uh, I've, okay. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, you don't speak any English. Yeah. Um, hello. Hi. Um, sorry. Can you help me? Uh, can you? Hello. Can you help me? Right. You understand English, but you can't speak English. Maybe we should have said that. You're in the country of the silent Finn. It's not felt necessary to make small talk all the time, and lack of eye contact doesn't indicate shiftiness or rudeness. <laughs> If there are empty seats on a bus or in the cinema, and there always are, it's not usual to sit down right next to a stranger. Leave a buffer zone. Shake hands when you meet someone for the first time. You're already off to a bad start. (laughs) (laughs) 
I, I asked for help and you blanked me. That would be the usual reaction. No, it wouldn't. It would. <laughs> yes. yes, it would. Uh, he it reacted would. how somebody in uh, Paris would react if you went up and said, hey, where's the train? They just would look at you uh, and just walk away. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's assume that I know that you're a tourist. Yeah. Okay. And uh, you're looking for help. Yeah. Help. <laughs> help. I mean, I feel like you would need the police if you're just screaming for help in the street. <laughs> help, but only a minor amount of help. We can't have done paid and name in their non. I've immediately realized a problem with this role play in that I don't uh, understand what you're saying. Yeah, you what don't understand your name. Uh, my, name is, my name is Joshua Wilkinson. Mm. What's your name? My name is Brennan. What was that accent? He became Italian at the end. He became Italian. Menon, 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 ne men, ne mon. Is this the whole sentence? Like this is a long way of saying that if your name. Menon, ne men, ne. Fuck it out. Menon, ne men, ne on Brennan. I will get the police for you and maybe an ambulance because Brennan. it seems like you need one. How's Kutu Vitu? Yeah. I'm pleased to meet you. Oh, yeah, me too. Why are you Italian and when you y speak in English? <laughs> this is my Finnish accent. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's. You sound it's... like an old Italian man. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. Uh, mm. Onko sinule. Uh, onko? <laughs> mm -hmm. Sinule. Yep. Yeah, me too. Do you have... Wait, that's the wrong one. On... What did you just say to Johnny. me? <laughs> Never mind. What did you Johnny, say do you to have me? an idea of how this is supposed to sound? <laughs> Doesn't matter. No, uh, I've got no. no idea. I don't speak Finnish uh, whatsoever. On... Onko? Onko? Sinu... Sinulu? Oh, you know what we're going to do? Tutu Onko us... Sinulu. Tutu Ustava. Yeah. No, I'm good, thank you. Do you have a girlfriend? No, I'm good, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you know okay. Uh, Stop proposition. I'm gonna have Linkser. I'm gonna have Linkser watch this and see mm. if if you if he can uh, decipher anything you're talking pain. about. Can We've you, can insulted you say, every country. Can you we've say gone move on to the next team in Finnish? Yeah. Mones, Monesco, Paiva, Tananon. What does that mean? What date is today? <laughs> All right, let's. let's what's the next on. team? Uh, it, All right, uh, I'm getting a beer. What is what is moving on to um, the United States of America's roster? Onko United States len tour. What does that mean? Is there a flight to the United States? <laughs> okay, good yep. transition. And Solid to which, transition. To which you shall say, yeah. Toki. Toki. Sure. 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 I'll on. give you a flight to the United States. Toki. Jesus book. Christ. Good okay. Book, that. Well, that book caused me oh, more that's... pain than joy. Time for the United States. You know, it, it, it's going to, this is going to be a loaded statement. We have yeah. done some stupid things on this show. Yeah. This might be the dumbest. <laughs> what just happened there with Bren just trying to <laughs> just speak Finnish? <laughs> may have been the dumbest thing we've ever done but yeah. i don't know what else you have in your bag so we may hit something even worse uh not likely but we'll see okay run. okay are we moving on to the united states yes, yes we are <clears throat> okay so can we can we bring up the u.s players well what did you get for him from the u.s first oh you want me to do that first well you've okay. been doing yeah. it first every time yeah. yeah let's do what that all right Let, let's take it back to brennan so this this is a recent acquisition of mine, and mm -hmm. I don't believe it exists anywhere in the world except for the United States. So I didn't go for something classically US, like a hamburger or a donut or anything mm -hmm. like that. I thought, what is something you can only get in the USA? Um, and what I chose was pickle juice made into beer. It, it, it is just the weirdest thing. It's the weirdest thing you've ever tried in your life. Try and I know that Bren loves these because I, I bought a six pack of them by accident and I've had to slowly work my way through them. And it's been pain, honestly. They're, uh, it's a powerful flavor. 
Oh, oh, let let Bren get a sip of America. So yeah, take take a sip of America. You won't find that anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's pickle juice beer, and it the flavor is so strong. Can you chug it? Can you can you chug it? Yeah, I think you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, no. it's, it's potent. It's potent. Okay. Would you mind? It is. Can you pour me some? It Why is. did you buy it? Because I thought it sounded cool. I've never had pickle juice beer before. And right. I thought maybe it would be a very subtle flavor. And it what, would be nice. Oh, is this from America? The, the shelf was yeah. probably stocked with them. I mean, they're probably not selling many. It's sour beer. It's, it's called sour pickle beer. You could literally serve this on a burger. Yeah, it tastes... I mean, it's just pickle juice that's alcoholic. That's all it is. It's just it's pickle so juice. It's so strong. Yeah. It is so strong. <laughs> yeah, oh, all right, wow. well, let's, uh, let's get back and talk about the USA. I'm having... Oh, um, never mind. Where would you guys like to start? Maybe the tanks? Tanks. Super oh, space. So, don't oh, forget, wow. we got paintbrush as a support. Yeah, we have paintbrush as an option. He ended up mm. in Canada, but he's really here. Uh, okay, yeah. so S super and space. Default is super and space. I think. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think you know there could be an argument for having uh, Hawk in over space if Hawk has a fantastic season this season or something like that. Mm -hmm. But they're they're really just you can't make an argument for anything other than super and space. They're literally the winning tank line from last year as well. So yeah, I mean, it's, it should, yeah, it's a, it's pretty much a, a lock. I mean, up, yeah. I think the gravy up for consideration. <laughs> do I, it, it, would it be just me or do I think that the damage dealers are fairly straightforward as well? Okay. Who would you but go I, for? I, I, um, I, I was going to so say, too. I was going to say Dante, Nero and uh, KSF. Okay. I would bring KSF for like the hit scan kind of widow type. Players. Is this a hot take? I would take Jake over KSF. Really? But doesn't Jake just kind of play the same things as Nero Dante? I mean, Jake is like what is Jake? Flexible. What is Jake? Jake play is like over the those... ultimate flex player. He's there to bring strategy. Be like an like a, ca a coach slash player. I mean, I mean, maybe he could come as an assistant coach. I don't know. Like. You know, best scenario, we can have a head coach and then Jake is like assistant coach. But Mate, I think he brings the up. spirit, the coaching, uh, strategic presence of the team. And I don't think you lose that much by not bringing you don't have KSF. A, what? Here's my question to you when we're having this debate about the DPS. Who plays the hit scan? And I don't well, mean that's why I said KS, KSF. I mean, I mean like Widow, Ash, McCree kind of stuff. KSF plays the Widow, but I've not seen KSF play McCree and Ash. And I think KSF this season was starting to transition back to more projectile. I think KSF was only on Widow as like a experiment. We want to really. bring back the Blase McCree? No, I don't. I would rather have Jake <laughs> on McCree than Blase. But I'm wondering whether there's an argument Dalton? to be made for Dalton. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I was going to say Dalton would be the next next person up, right? Yeah, but. Yeah. Doesn't that seem very weird to anybody else? Like, I think that's weird. Yeah. Well, not really. I mean, you've lost, <laughs> you've lost Baby Bay, you've lost Corey, uh, Sinatra yeah. as well. Like, those are three players that would have been in front for, like, even this role, right? Like, even though Sinatra doesn't really kind of play that stuff. But, yeah, I mean, Dalton's had a big rise this year, right? Yeah, okay. So, yeah. Um, sure. I, I, st I, I like... still think it's crazy. So, like, I can see the argument, but I don't think Dalton provides more value to a team than Jake does. Or maybe I'm just sniffing well, okay, Jake's so... ass after he's been a fucking contender's well, uh, a, a well, talent. Well, I mean, I see... I, 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 I consider myself kind of silly for wanting to bring Jake as well. Because we have... Uh, how many of those are Overwatch League players? I mean, I think everyone but Apply. I don't know if Apply still is on a... No, an Overwatch League team. It's not, not right. So. But like all of those five are currently on an Overwatch League team, right? KSF, Saucy, Hydration, I, Dalton, Saucy, Blase. Is Saucy still on Atlanta or did He's, he get dropped? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Remember, but honestly. the point being, like, yeah. passing on all no, of those players oh, got dropped, right. in favor of Jake, I, I find silly saying that. But where I'm coming from is when USA won the World Cup. That was like 
a super team. That was like, yeah. they had incredible individual skill, but also they had incredible synergy and team atmosphere. Like that team was figured out. And obviously, yeah. you know, you, you got super sort of like Super, Sinatra, but like on all, they, they had like the teamwork and the atmosphere to be a great team to go with the individual skill. And I think Jake sort of brings that to this team because you have super in space, super solid tank line. You have Dante and Nero, but there's some question marks like about the DPS, you know, like what here does Dante play? What here does Nero play? And then, you know, like, like who's your third wheel kind of guy. But I, I feel like Jake has the ability to bring all of that to, together and inspire confidence in a way but that both your playing? tank and support now like trust everything that's going on because Jake can like kind of figure it out and piece it together and be that motivator and that can bring the leadership well, required to bring this team together and maybe propel them to another finals or like championship. I agree about what Jake brings to a team, but it would just be kind of odd to bring Dante, Nero, and Jake. Like, if you were going to bring Jake, you would you would bring him over one of those two and then bring somebody like Dalton. The thing I, is, so here's the thing. I, I think Dante just... and Nero are clear cut. I think those are fantastic damage players. Yeah, I, I think, think they're, can... yeah. they're absolutely the elite players. But the, the thing is, is Dalton actually better than Jake when it comes to long-range hitscan stuff? Like Jake's we don't Soldier know. I mean, used to be really... I think yeah, Jake's Soldier Soldier playing was pretty good in rank. Yeah. But this is the thing. Jake has been out of the game per se, I suppose, like in terms of competitive play, scrimming, that sort of thing, yeah. for a long time. And even now he's playing for the Outlaws in a specialist role. His role is quite defined. It's yeah. largely like providing coaching, providing feedback yeah. from the player side to the coaching staff, also I mean, coaching as well directly, but also he'll be coming in if there's anything really specialized that they need. Yeah. Like if they have a very niche strategy, um, from my understanding of it. So I okay. can't see him taking a spot in this capacity if he was yeah, going to sure. be on this team. I think he would more likely be placed in a coaching capacity. I was going to say, would he be the coach of this team? Yeah, I yeah. think it's more likely okay. that he would be the coach. Allow me to paint a picture, okay? Some people, they say, when it comes to psychology, some people, they think in images, and some people, they think in, like, words, okay? Allow me to paint the picture. It might even be a video, okay? It's the Blizzard <laughs> Arena. Okay. It's packed with fans okay. cheering you're hearing the usa chant usa yeah. you got that like crescent kind of arena like the circle in the middle you know like one team yeah. on one side and the other you got the flags on top on the led screens who's casting it's cp cp is casting with a vast okay you're hearing cp's voice when you're watching the usa play the okay of America. and you know you're watching like <laughs> Junker Town, USA are defending on Junker Town. Like Dante yeah. is forced to play this McCree on defense, you know, because he's not like a natural on the roll, you know, but he's playing the McCree, he's making it work because he's Dante. He's flexible, plays a ton of ranked, he can make it work. But then it's a deciding map, map five, okay? They're going to Nepal and they're rolling out on Village. Who do they put in? They put in Jake. The crowd goes nuts, and they're like, oh my god, Jake is being subbed in. CP cannot believe it. His former casting partner is now playing in the actual VP like rushes map five. The stage and rushes beats him the with stage. A chair. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's Brand. That's Brand. <laughs> but Jake goes in. Crowd goes nuts. Jake, 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 Jake. He picks some meme hero like Sumetra on Nepal village or some shit. Maybe like Farah. I don't even know. Okay, but that's kind of how it works. Like Dante feels like the McCree role because he has to. It's a narrative. Like, can Dante stand up against all of these fantastic players, like hit scan players? Kind of makes it work. But then when USA needs it most, they get in Jake. Okay, he's flexible. They got a ace up their sleeve. They pull it out. Jake makes it work. Confetti, fireworks cakes nate nasser comes out with a <laughs> fortnite hoodie you don't know what's happening bobby kodik everyone's there front seat baby yeah next it's the artist performance of blizzcon i don't know who's playing bring out the weekend super bowl but better it is it's 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 magic it's magic okay. really that's the it image it still doesn't change my mind but yeah okay I, well I, was someone animate that. I, I am totally sold on jonathan's story i think i yeah i i'm i'm down i my, I'll be the voice of reason. What is the... Yeah, okay. 
What is the voice of reason? Having saying? lived with Jake, I do not think he would be so egotistical to claim a spot on this roster when he knew that it would be much better suited to some of the other players. But but the, but it's not some of the other players. In my opinion, the only player we're considering subbing in Dalton is Dalton Saucy. Right? No, Saucy is like Dalton, the, the yeah. a Genji player. Why would you even want? Like, doesn't Saucy play <laughs> Hitscan? Honestly, I don't even know. I I, I haven't seen him play. Uh, Not too sure, to be honest. We saw I mean, him play. I think okay, let's. A... I mean, let's just say Dalton then. I think if you were to only, if you were only allowed to bring seven players, I don't think Jake would be the type of player to bring him, bring himself, or like I don't think he'd want to be on the team, just because his role in terms of playing would be quite niche. Yeah, my I don't think Jake think solves coach, the problem with the USA anyway. My question always for the USA is going to be like, who's playing Ash? Like genuinely, who is actually playing Ash for this team? And Widow, if it's required, and McCree, and wh whatever else you're playing that's like the actual long-range hit scan. The, Throw the Baby Bay on the roster. Would play Tell me just needs to come in in emergencies. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, maybe it is Dalton. Okay, maybe for, it's the, Dalton. for the sake of know. this Dalton, let's tale, go Dalton. I'll be happy with Jake. But only if I get to see it animated. <laughs> I, want to, I want to see it animated. Can someone do free work, please? Yep. Before. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, we're exposed. We're not that's, really. I'm kidding. That's not going to happen. Can you eat exposure? Dalton. Yeah, you can. It tastes like pickle juice. <laughs> uh, supports what? Moth, right? Oh, yeah. Big okay. Time. Oh, yeah. Jake has flex support. There you go. No. So the flex support issue is a big issue for the USA. You don't have Raucous. Um, you mm. don't have Dogman. You mm. don't even have Sleepy. You literally yeah. don't have the three candidates the that were always... Isn't that Vast Canadian? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> what Vast is from he, Texas. What happened? He is, he is as yee-haw as they get. He I'm is, kidding. I think, Tech actually... <laughs> I think that it isn't any of these choices on support. I Ooh. think it's actually probably Ultraviolet, who plays for American Tornado. Oh. And, and I know that means that I've just absolutely trolled Kurt. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I just think Just change the name of Jake to Ultraviolet. <laughs> yeah. I think... Make Jake the head coach. Put Dalton in and get Ultraviolet. Ultraviolet is 16 years old. Yeah, everyone yeah. on that American Tornado team is basically fresh out the womb. They are just brand new to the world, but they can... Sorry, play that's Overwatch. my bad. I, mu I must have missed this. I apologize. Uh, it's my... I, I, I am responsible for this fuck-up. I apologize, Ultraviolet, for uh, ignoring this. No, I, I think Ultraviolet's at least as good as Raucous was last year, actually. So... Mm. I don't think this would even be a downgrade, even though you're pulling a 16-year-old from contenders. Mm. He, he's talented. I'm not going to say that he's like, you know, above average in the Overwatch League, but then neither was Raucous, and they still won that year. So it's clearly you can have some positions that you're not elite at as long as the team works overall. Yeah. Um, and I, I think Ultraviolet's still definitely good enough to be mm. able to play the flex support position, especially when you're alongside Moth and you have such a stable tank line. Yeah. Like I, I think this team would do... Uh, very well. My question yeah. is just on the the long range hit scan. Genuinely, just nice. the same thing again, Got again, it again in. and again. There all it right. is. I... The other problem is that Fire, Karkar, and Juby are all main supports, right? Anyway, so mm -hmm. yeah, so... and I don't think they're going to be taking Moss' role. No. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm not going to say I'm pleased with this. I I would take Dalton over Jake. Um, yeah, I, do you know what? I think I would yeah. as well. I, it just sounds ridiculous. Yeah, just, just do it. Just I put, do, yeah. I, put, I put Jake in as the coach. Sure. So. Jake can be at the head of the posse. Yeah. He can be. Because yeah, I think go. Jake is going to fulfill that there role pretty is. well on Outlaws. I mean, we, we haven't discussed it because... We should do, a, we should do a, a little extra episode with him. Yeah, maybe. See if he's available. Yeah, if he's, down. he's probably a busy man, but... I think he's he's doing, yeah, like, we should force yeah. him to come on. He posted yeah. an Instagram story saying Korean scrims hit different. Oh, I, saw I think that, his, yeah. his, time, his time schedule at the moment is a bit right. skew whiff, but we'll see. Yeah. Maybe we can get um, it Yeah, I'm pleased with this, to lock this one in. Um, this, this is easily the best team that we've constructed so far. Yes. You think so? I don't, I don't think there's any question yeah. about it. I think <laughs> yeah. it would crush every other team that we've put together. I mean, I think okay. the second best team we've put together is maybe 
Finland or Sweden, Sweden and I think yeah. that I think this team would rock both of those. Okay. You disagree? No. No. I mean, I think it would be probably closer than you think uh, with certain teams. I think maybe undervaluing Finland or Sweden. Yeah, I, I think uh, it's possible, depending on the meta. But yeah. I think the, if I was to just... run the simulation in my room with the lights okay. off and the candle on, um, yeah, I think a couple of couple of couple of times Sweden Finland might take it. Okay, all right, interesting. The simulation has spoken, mm -hmm. mm. but like eighty ninety percent win rate. Yeah. <laughs> that is a horrible baguette. I don't know why you're eating it. If you're that hungry, eat another stale. Danish or some cheese or something. Very stale. Anyway, actually. If we're moving on to the next team, yeah, you can have some more food, can't you? Okay. Mm. What have you got for me? I'm trying. Well, first of all, drink some more pickle because I'm not drinking all of that. You can't just foist your stuff onto it's me. It's horrible. Dr drink a little bit more. You're going to need it to wash the taste of that baguette out your mouth. <laughs> Bro, we'll... I don't want to drink this. Go on. Go on. Like a good boy. <laughs> no, I'm not doing good. <laughs> go on. Just a little bit more. There we go. Delightful. Okay. Does it actually taste like the 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 pickleback? Yes, you get the no, most. Not it pickleback. Does. It does taste oh. a lot like the pickle juice that's in a pickleback. Yeah, this is like a pure extract of pickle juice that they've injected <laughs> really? with droplets of alcohol. I don't know. I mean, it just tastes like beery. Pickle okay, juice. what is what anyway. is the China one? Okay, this is your special order. Yeah. Should be genuinely delicious. I mean, I really Whoa. like Chinese food, and so what? I just ordered some Chinese food. If you and got Panda what? Express, I'll be so offended. No, it wasn't no. Panda Express. What did you... No. Oh. I don't know I why also, I'd be offended, I haven't, but it'd just I be haven't awful. ordered from any Chinese places nearby us, apart from some vegetarian ones, mm -hmm. and I didn't want to feed you just, you know, like vegan crab rangoon or whatever. I mean, you could have. I could have. I could have, but instead I got you some proper pork dumplings. Wow. Yeah. And this I'm is going, lovely. Uh, fried rice here as well. And I'm going to need you to eat all of it by the time we finish with China. I'm what? Gonna, I'm going to need you to eat all of it by the time we finish. What's it's getting, in the fried rice? Just fried rice. I don't know. Fry and rice. Some, <laughs> Do you have utensils? No. Chopsticks? <laughs> oh. You have to eat it with your hands, I suppose. Okay. I'll, I'll try one of these. China. Oh, it's very cold because it got delivered a while it's back. It's got pork in. Oh, yeah, I forgot it was a pork dumpling. Now I've licked it. <laughs> don't, don't put... <gasps> yeah. All right, anyway, what's you the roster? It. Yeah. Oh, I'll probably eat it later on. <laughs> I licked it, didn't <laughs> I? I'm not going to waste the food. Um, vegetarian. Yeah, but I eat, I eat meat like once a week. Actually, no, maybe once <laughs> okay. a month, something like that. Okay. Like one off. Um, China. God, we're by us good. China this team's is... going to be pretty sick. China's going to be damn good. Where do you want to begin? Uh, you want to do tanks? Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is the one I actually haven't studied up for. <laughs> so, Matt, this is your time to shine. <laughs> uh, well, what? I mean, uh, Gu Shui, obviously, with Hangzhou, uh, like one of the biggest players in China. Uh, yeah. And then what? Elsa Lei Young in the off-tank role? I don't think Eamon... Well but as, as much as he, I think, improved the season, I don't think he makes this team. No. Uh, I, I personally is, think that Gaga is better than Eamon. I, like if I was just about someone, to say, I was like, If you wanted someone that was more right? to do with ball, I would go Gaga. But I just... Can you really pick somebody over Gushue for main tank? No. I, I, it's so hard. No. And I think when you, <laughs> yeah, when you take counts. into account his popularity, he kind of like auto makes it a little bit. I, I could... I think there's an argument, though, if you actually wanted to, to get Gushui and Gaga, so that mm. if it's a ball meta, you play Gaga, and if it's anything else, you play Gushui. So you would I, pick Gaga over Amon, then, is the case? Personally, yes. personally, I would. I think, I think Gaga's the best ball player coming into the league this year, and I think the players coming into the league this year are better, than, better on ball than the players that were currently in the league. Okay? Unless Amon's improved a lot he recently, which he might have done. I haven't seen... Eamon play in months and it's been a ball meta for a while but I think these new the fresh blood of ball coming in looks better than what we've seen previously in Owl you want to take and then do you take a uh, sorry, maybe Brian, I don't know say? I don't know how the rest of the roster will flesh out but I think it's you could make an argument for it would you oh. take Liege over uh, 
uh, the other Liga. Huh? Yeah, Liga. Okay, that's I would how take, I was yeah, looking I to see if there's Liga. a way you pronounced it, but because he's on Hangzhou as well now, so you would have yeah, like yeah. the tank he's, line. He's cracked. Chinese yeah. off tanks used to be shite. I mean, straight up, like late young and also ah, late that young had like a legendary sorry mm. on like uh, yeah. you know miraculous Zarya. youngsters. In 2017, he was good at Zarya. <laughs> yeah, get the fuck yeah. out you of here. You said historically, mate. I'm historical. I'm a okay. fucking you know dinosaur. Liga Liga's clearly the best Chinese off tank. I think uh -huh. uh, he's he looks really good. Damage dealers, you take what? Uh, Leave and Eileen. Um. God, there's guess, so oh, yeah. many good players here, but Lee and Eileen are probably yeah, I, the best two. Well, I don't know. There's there's a lot of really good up and coming Chinese talent. Yeah, Shai I think used to be really a good. flex support. Yeah, Shai yeah. used to be a flex support, but then went DPS and like Shai is incredibly other. good. I mean, I would say Shai is probably the next best. Yeah. Dia is also very good, but I think I would rather have Lee Eileen. I think Lee and Eileen cover pretty much everything. Though everything, yeah. Like they're, they're incredible. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. If you didn't add an extra, this kind of covers all your bases. And then for support, uh, what Molly is probably a lock, right? Well, you say that, but um, because I think what he's supposedly is he gonna play? I think he'll Coldest play on really Shanghai good. Years. Coldest oh. is very good, but he just didn't play Coldest. for Hangzhou, yeah, um, because they hadn't integrated him into the team, but. I far think away. What team is he on now? Far, He's on far a, away just came in from Contenders, 1987. Yes. He's apparently... I've watched his VODs and he looks really good. But people who've watched a lot more of his VODs than I have believe that he's better than Molly or Coldest. Um, the, like, the Chinese Contenders talent believe that he's that good. So oh, Wow. I, I'm not going to say that he is at this point. I've watched like a bunch of his footage, but not... like. The, th the problem is you haven't. What, uh, you can't see him against owl players, you yeah. know. Yeah. Like you see him be really good in contenders, but you don't. You can't get a good feel for whether he's like actually elite, elite. So, but but yeah, if you listen to the contenders Chinese talent, I'm pretty sure um, Kenobi was saying that he thinks Far Away 1997 is. I I mean, yeah, that he's well, better this than is, uh, Molly and Coldest. Is this one of the pools that is so deep? Like, with the yeah. players who would not yeah. start, you could make a second roster that would be super good. Like, if yeah, you, you, could. you could have a team that has, like, what, a, a Gaga, uh, Elsa, uh, Shy, Jinmu, and, like, Molly, and then, like, somebody else. Yeah. Like, that would be, like, a six squad as well. This might yeah. be a hot take, but every time, like, we're going into the World Cup, I think China is the team which I'm most excited to see, like, them joining forces and playing on a national team. Because sometimes, yeah. you know, like, you think, like, World Cup teams, like, even in other sports, like soccer, uh, like, basketball, good. you're like, oh, my God, what would it look like if all of these players came together <laughs> and played under the same banner, right? And there's some excitement there, you know? Like, what if, you know, like, LeBron played with, like, some, you know, Kobe and, like, all that <laughs> weird shit, you know? Mm -hmm. China is probably the Overwatch team that I'm most excited about seeing these guys like join forces. Like, what would the best yeah. Chinese I mean, team look like? And I think Leave and Eileen carry most of that, but also just like what would Gushui look like with like exactly. a Chinese off tank? And yeah. like yeah. I, I I think China in the World Cup is always always so super exciting for me to watch. I mean, if you this could, was an owl team, they would yeah, be this, super I mean, good. this is better than an owl team as well. You could argue yeah. that this is like an upgraded version of Chengdu, uh -huh. what it would, or even an upgraded version of the Chinese Spark team. Yeah, the Spark have six Spark players, team, yeah. so like you could say it's an upgraded version of even that. So, yeah, I mean, this is. I, you could make a strong argument that this China team would win this World Cup that we're putting together here. They have one too many players at the moment. Yes, well, uh, Molly Calders and Faraway oh. are all flex support, so we were just deciding. You're not bringing them. all of them, yeah. Yeah. Who? Um... I really would be happy with any of the three, though. They're all very Molly's good. Talents. really good. Who do you underrated. bring? Who would you bring in main support, Josh? Well, I would personally bring Evil Toll, but I think there's another player that we haven't put on this list uh, because he's not in the Overwatch League, even though he played incredibly in Contenders. Um, it's Super Rich, who played for. Mm. He played for. Um, the winning team that won the, the gauntlet most recently as well, playing alongside uh, Gaga and Liga um, and Faraway1987. And he's, he's very good, super rich. I think Eviltol is a world-class main support, 
but for whatever reason, they have him on two-way for next year in 2021. Yeah. And I've not understood that ever since that decision was made. Was and it? they've gone for... Who have they got now? On I think they've got Weir on main Chandler. support. Yes. Yeah. And that doesn't make any sense to me because when I watched him previously, he was poo. So I don't, I don't get that. Like no, he's... I mean, Nisha. Sorry. Yes, you're right. I'm mixing up my players. It's Nisha. He used yeah. to be called Illusion, I think. Um, sure. And when he, when he played previously, he was not that good. Um, Mika Weird is also a solid team, pick though. for main support. He plays for occasionally for the um, Spark. Like he, he got subbed in a couple of times last season and he looked mm -hmm. pretty good. But I think Evil Toll is the best pick. Or Super Rich, but I, I would go with Evil Toll. So then uh, do you, who do you take out of these? Because what? Molly and Evil Tal play together. Uh, having, yeah, having not watched Far Away that much, I, I mean, I. The thing is, there are what you said about the contenders talent who actually have watched these players. Yeah, they claim that he's better than Molly and Coldest. Yeah. I mean, that's high praise. That is very high praise because uh, I thought Molly was really underrated throughout the season. Yeah, um, and Coldus looked Coldest incredible looked, in contenders, but he just didn't get yeah, playtime. Yeah, Coldus didn't get playtime. He'll get played this year. Weird pick. I hope so. Yeah. Um, but but I mean, Coldus is a good player. I, I would take Ivatol and Molly, personally. Yeah. Um, I think that's reasonable. Personally, oof. I would defer to the <laughs> Chinese contenders talent, and I would go for Far Away 1987 mm -hmm. because they're more likely to. I think they're like on the ground floor more similar to where the Chinese coaches would be when they were building this, like, fantasy team. It's possible that they're overrating them, but I think at the worst, you're getting a side grade, and if they're right, you're getting an upgrade. Mm -hmm. But I right. would not be mad about taking far away Molly or Calder. <clears throat> well, I don't know why. It, it might be these two beers speaking to me. But I suddenly got nostalgic for like those Chinese broadcasts where you have like the chat scrolling over like the stream feed as it's going. You know? yeah. uh, uh, <laughs> that was old school, like APAC yeah. Overwatch. You know, you went to like the Chinese streams and like the chat streams was going crazy buffering. and they're like a bunch of text on the screen and you're like, how the fuck do I get this off so I can see Hollywood? <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know why that's so a I, feature. I don't know. I, I think it's the same as like people spamming in the chat in Twitch. Yeah, it's just exciting mm. when people pop off and the screen is filled with, I don't know, Komodo stuff. hype, but written down. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't really understand it, but what do I know? I am, I'm pleased with this team. Do you think I, though that we should get another DPS and kick out Gaga? Yeah, I do personally. As much as I've just said, yeah, I'm happy with it. I think. And which one do you bring? Uh, not Crystal. Um. No. I mean, what do you even need? You have Leave and Eileen. So, what are you looking I, for? So here's the thing. I, you have Leave and Eileen, yeah. I don't think you need Jinmu in this lineup. I think no. Chengdu needs Jinmu, but I don't think Chinese World Cup team needs Jinmu. And I think a lot of people will be like, well, Jinmu is obviously like third pick here. I don't think that's the case. Yeah. I, 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 I don't know who I'd bring here. Like, as I said, like, I researched a lot of the other countries. Chinese, I'm not so sure about, so I don't want to speak out of my ass. But... Kaneki is a bit of like a baby Jinmu. I think if you don't if you don't want Jinmu, <laughs> you don't really want Kaneki because I don't think the heights are there. Um, you don't want Crystal for aforementioned reasons. I think if you were going to pick like a hardcore long range hit scan, you'd rather go yeah. with Dia than Myk yeah. Lee. So uh, you I could, Dia, but right? even if you were going to go for a long range hit scan, I haven't seen Shy play in a while, but Shy looked insane when he was playing. So. I'd be tempted to go for Shy over Deer if you wanted like another hit scan so that Eileen and Leave could specialize more in projectile stuff. Having said that though, I'm not even sure that Shy would get that much playtime. I think you'd end up playing with Leave and Eileen like yeah. 90% of the time. Shy did play in both 2017 and 2018 World Cup. I don't know, I don't know that doesn't mean anything, but you know, yeah. he's played with some of these people before. Yeah, yeah Deer would have that redemption arc. Yeah, I mean, scan, just yeah. to have a stable like a long range hit scan player yeah that you just yeah I, 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 would, I would like Dia in personally um, not mad even though Lee and Eileen would play but just to have the option just there because I don't yeah. th I mean even though ball is pretty common these days I don't know if Gaga will be worthwhile 
Uh, yeah, it's a, it's there's there's lots of iterations where you could tinker out one or two players. You could actually tinker out like five players, and you would still have still have a really good, still have a crazy good team. team. Yeah, like the only player you need to keep, in my opinion, is Liga. He's he's head and shoulders above Fushway. the rest. Of his. I think you could make a a team that could still win World Cup with Gaga. I, I, yeah. yeah, especially with Bolby and Meta right now. Yeah, you could, you could easily do that. I think. I think like Liga and maybe Eileen are the best players out of China right now. Okay, uh, compared compared to the rest of their competition. Yeah, this All roster right. would be nutty though. Let's lock it in. I'm pleased with this. Okay, there it is. These were pretty bad. Yeah, I they one. were. And also, I just remembered what I ordered in the fried rice. It said assorted protein. No, I don't know what kind of animals are in there. Do we want to leave Korea for the next episode? Do we want to, like, give a cliff cliffhanger? No, I reckon we pound it out. No, let's just do it real quick. Pound the pavement. It's a, it's a lot of players. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot of players. This is where the fun is. People oh, have this been is having insane. To, yeah. when, you, when you see this graphic, you'll lose your mind, yeah. viewers. People have been having to endure us waffling about contenders players. We have okay. no idea well, about Well, what do you got to give Brent about Korea potatoes. first? You're going to get this out of my face. Okay. Oh, yeah. Before his... You have to eat at least another. That, this was real bad. Really? Yeah. The dumpling that's, was really that's bad. That's unfortunate. I mean, it might be because we ordered it an hour ago. Yeah. It, it, I mean, it just, it was like the bottom was rubbery. Mm. Yeah. I know what you mean. Okay. All it right. wasn't particularly before, good. Before what Kurt is, yeah. puts this on the screen, by the way. Okay. You're going to do the treat. But I just want to say, before you bring the treat and you put this on the graphic, I removed 18 overwatch league level players from the list of koreans yeah. before like we i gave kurt the official one 18 okay so you're gonna get this massive list and keep in mind there's 18 more but before that let's uh, let's I, i'm looking forward to this this looks so so wow. we made this before we started South recording Korea. yeah and South that was the last team that is sad and you have made this to represent south <laughs> korea <laughs> How dare I don't you? even need to. How start. dare you? Those like instant noodles. This is the most disrespectful display I have ever <laughs> seen in my life. You could have gone for kimchi. You could have gone yeah. for topoki. Topoki. Yep. You could have gone for a lot of different Korean bibimbap. Cuisine. Yeah, bibimbap, bibimbap, or kimbap. Yeah. Um, but did you get? Do you not notice the theme? Yeah, I know. Uh, I know Overwatch I know. League but represents I feel like, like half you've the Overwatch four, League, and you made instant noodles. But it doesn't even start there. Incorrectly prepared as well. So these noodles you're supposed to boil for five minutes on the stove. Yeah. Where's you the boiled scallions? the kettle. You boiled the kettle and just poured the water in and left them. Yeah. Uh. And then mixed in the packet afterwards, which you're supposed to stir fry onto it. Uh, I, I, I've never had them. And the... now I'm left. <laughs> I mean... With that. Oh, my oh, lord. Okay, wow. okay. That is not the greatest Oof. demonstration of Korean cuisine. Korean cuisine no, is not. delightful, but it's also... Really I'm quite disappointed. Also, oh, eat up. It is monstrous to the nostrils. <laughs> like the how, spice how spicy is, is this? Hitting. I mean, what spiciest level is this? Um, it was the spiciest I could find, but you have even spicier <laughs> in your pantry, apparently. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ren has a version of this that's twice as spicy in his pantry already, and I didn't know about that. Do you need Greek yogurt? Do we get, oh, why didn't you make soju yogurt? I mean, yeah, there's there so were, many good options. Okay. There were so many. Yeah. There's so many good options for all of these countries. All of them have fantastic culture and history and, and, and fantastic cuisine. But also, I had a couple of days to think up some ideas on the cheap. Because Platchad isn't making that much money because you guys aren't clicking the adverts. So whose fault is it really? <laughs> whose fault is it really, huh? Tweet at brands you want to sponsor us. I don't, I don't, that might be a bad idea, but you know, anything bad, goes. Is that nice? Horrible. Do you want some Lucio O's to kind of wash Did it you get the Lucio O's? Yeah. How, how, does it, how is it for instant ramen, Bren? Like on a scale of two, one to ten, how is it for instant ramen? It's not cooked properly. Are we going to show the Korean so like a fully uncooked? Yeah. Are we going to show the Korean team? Yeah, yeah Matt let's... has a place to be. Let's, ch yeah. let's yeah. check the team. All right. Oh uh, my god. <laughs> it's I mean, pretty big. That is insane. There's a lot of players to go through. Okay. So, where the f Are there any locks? Begin? I... 
Well, oh. I think... Should we start at the main tank position? I feel like that's going to yeah. be the easiest because there's less talent there. There's a lot of talent. Yeah. All right. A lot Bring of talent. Bring it back up. Let's see. We've got Fate, Mano, Marvel, Gesture, <laughs> uh, Stan One, Pogpo, OG. Holy shit, I think there's a lot. You right. want... Jesus. In let's, the running. In why the running. We, yeah, I let's think drag some names down to begin with. I 18 out. Yeah. I want Fearless. <clears throat> yeah. So bottom right. I want Smurf in there as well. Smurf's yep. insanely good. Smurf. Where is he? There he is. Top uh, left. Right top there. left. Said, yep. middle, top, top middle left. There we go. Um, I want Mag in there, yeah, actually. Mag. At the bottom mm -hmm. middle. Okay, yeah. Um, who else deserves, put... like, elite level Sado? status? Yeah, Sado. Yeah, Sado? I agree with that. Get him in the running. Gesture or Mono? Um, I, I said No. Okay, maybe you throw Gesture in there, but I, okay. I don't think... Yeah, I think that all your candidates, all your serious candidates are in this top five, <laughs> and right? then When uh, you think about it, Gesture is like the typical World Cup, like, kind of rugged player, so, which is like, oh, Blizzard patched the game two weeks before the World Cup. Here, you can play Rogue Rodolf. Ro Ro let's uh, <laughs> let's yeah. knock down some of our off tanks, too. So you would put... Void down there. Fury. Oh, yeah, definitely. Void, Choyobin, Fury, immediately. Hanbin. I don't and think... I, uh, is this a hot take? I don't think Hanbin's in the running. Okay. Compared to Void, Choyobin, Fury. I actually thought Void would be, like, almost a lock. Yeah. I think Krong is in the running, though. Mm-hmm. Is, it, is Krong really in the running, though, mm -hmm. when you compare no, him to... No, when you yeah. have yeah. Void, it's literally between, up. like... Yeah. Yeah, I mean... I'm not sure. It's a stretch to include Krong with the elite of the elite, which is Void, Joy, that, Open, and Fury. That was my problem with Krong for MVP, kind of like, you know, there was a storyline there. Like, people were, yeah. like, actively, you know, even, even like, like, reputable, like, official, kind of, like, journalists covering the league were like, oh, Krong for MVP. And I was like, the problem with this is, he's not as versatile as some of these superstar off tanks, like Void. Yeah. Choyobin, Fury, who have consistently proven themselves on multiple heroes in any scenario, they bring the heat because there's that good. And I'm not saying Krong was bad. Krong was amazing. But by all accounts, I think there are more proven candidates above him on so many different roles that could adapt themselves in a World Cup meta and do better than him. And that's I mean, why yeah. I'd rather have Void, Choyobin, uh, yeah. and Fury. Should we, Having said all that, there's four names out of these that we've dragged that I think are the only ones we should be considering. Okay. I think... So who would you guys pick for the off-tank? I think let's start I think there. if you consider experience, um, what we know that they can perform at, and when I say experience, I'm also taking into account the kind of level of competition that they're playing at as well. Yeah. Um, and what we've seen them perform at, I think Fearless and Void and Smurf and Troy Hilvin oh. are the ones we should really be picking from. It because seems crazy I think, to me to exclude Fury. Fury but I think yeah. Fury did not have a great year. This uh, year? I, I think Fury had an incredible year. I mean, okay, it may be he wasn't like, um, he wasn't able to get integrated yeah, okay, maybe, with the team at okay, the beginning no, no, as no, quite. No, 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 no Bren, but before you excuse yourself, Bren, I actually kind of agree with you. I, I would say, the, okay, here's the thing. Here's the asterisk, though. I don't think that Fury's... Uh, it's not even a dec decline. Like, okay, Treoban and Vo Void, they were phenomenal. The thing with Fury was, I don't think you can blame it on him. That's no, the key I, difference maker, though. You cannot blame Fury for what happened to the Philadelphia Fusion. I think I... Because that I've, was Fusion as, as like a whole. That was a team effort. And we know Fury is capable of greatness. Yeah, but Triobin and Void, they were I gotta add on another level. Stars. Something like before, the, meat. before I get cancelled. Um, when I say Fury didn't have a great year, yeah. I'm saying, I'm thinking of this in terms of the expectations that were set for Fury at the start of the year. Right. And what we're anticipating from a player like him. The hype that was going into a player like Fury. Yeah. When it, when this pickup was announced, the bar was set here. Yeah. What he achieved on the Philadelphia Fusion was here. Right. The rest of the league was mm -hmm. kind of down here. Yeah. I still think I, it was a very good performance. Yeah. But from what we yeah. set for him, the expectations they weren't reached. 
I, I, the big, the only way that I can agree with you is if you factor in him being benched for a large part, period as he got integrated At into the, the team. Yeah. But once he actually got play time towards the second half of the season, he was, in my view, when he was playing the Sigma in like the Summer Showdown where he played all the mm -hmm. time and then moving forwards to what even was that next one called? I can't even remember Countdown what it was called. The what, sorry? Was it Countdown Cup? Yeah, the Countdown Cup. Yeah, yeah. yeah that sounds about right. Um, I think he was probably the best off tank in both of those. Like, I think he was, sorry, in North America. I think he was better than Troy yeah. Urban in both of those. Like, that back line of the Philadelphia Fusion was insane with Alarm and Fury. Mm -hmm. It was wildly good. I can't good. discount the two time, though. Yeah, I mean, Troy Urban's in, an incredible, incredible talent. Frankly, though, I think this is all a moot argument because I think Void yes. is the lock. Uh, I think Void, I think Void sure. is a lock as well. I, well, well, I would have said... I would have said Void... You don't agree, Johnny? I would have said Void could have been the MVP of the league this year. Yes, agreed. Definitely agreed. Uh, he uh, was actually my choice for MVP. What yeah, main tank uh, do you set alongside him? Personally, I, I, I would take Smurf. Smurf. I would yeah. take Smurf as well. I think, I think it's Smurf's time to... I, but the beauty of this is that we could literally sit here for hours debating... Yeah. You could make probably five up. teams that could all win the World Cup. Yeah. From Korea. <laughs> I think yeah, if do. I was a coach, I, I'd probably agree with you on a surface level that Smurf and Void probably are the two most deserving players here. But if I was a coach, I would probably pick Smurf and Trey because of the prior experience on Shock. Sure, yes. That's and that, that makes a lot of sense. Like. But I feel like these are, in some sense, fantasy World Cup teams. Yes. Um, yeah, sure. I, but I totally where I get where you're coming from. I, but the yeah, thing is, probably say the same. we're playing with so many variables here at stake. Like, look at the page. It's insane how many players there are. Yeah. And then you have to present the cases, right? And, like, make your points for all the fans. Because fans are, like, looking at the tanks right now. And they're thinking of something we don't. So someone is probably thinking that, you know, like, you know, Smurf and Chobin play the same team. That would be yeah. the case, right? Yeah, yeah. But I agree with you that this point. is fantasy, you know... Perfect yeah. scenario. It probably should be Void and Smurf. But yeah, well, I, I think you on DPS. Point, DPS I, is I, just I, insane. I mean, how could it, you possibly pick from there's, this? There's three, like, clear names that come out, like, at the start for me. Mate, and I'm... it would be Decay, Prophet, and Fletta. Yeah, I was <laughs> thinking the same, honestly. Get them. I mean, that get is just in. names. Get that them is just in. absolutely Middle top stupid. is Prophet. Um, yeah. I, I think those are the, like... Could you, you imagine them those... in the conversation? Holy How can you argue God. against any of them? Look at the rest of the quality of players that we're leaving out here as well. Like, yeah. right, who... but these three are so hard to argue against. I, like, wait, 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 wait. I think we've missed a very clear pick, though. Striker, in, maybe? In striker, yeah. 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 And I think that it's so hard to argue against any of these players, but I'm going to do it anyway. I think... I would want Striker on my team over maybe instead of Decay. What? Oh. I, I was thinking the same thing. I don't thing. agree. Bro, I was Decay thinking... on Dallas was just farming when he but was playing. No, he, was, he, was, he, was, he was a wolf letting the sheep's pen against yeah. most of the teams. I, I'm not saying Decay is a, is a bad player, but if you look at... Here's the thing as well. Decay Could fucking, you imagine? Decay really performed at the end when he was playing as a mercenary for the Washington Justice. Yeah, when he was on like, Zarya. He, like just he really performed, but could you imagine what the K would have looked like on the shock? Yeah, but the uh, but the thing okay, is Okay, let's let's ask this, okay? Yeah. <laughs> You're looking at the K profit and Fletter. God. Why do you need striker? <laughs> I mean, that's a great question. I guess the answer is that you want Striker because he's an elite, like he's the best tracer in the world. But you already have Profit. And yeah. you have Decay. Yeah, and you have Decay. Do you kick off Fletter really and make Striker play the Widow? Striker on the it's bench, so absurd. though. It's so absurd. It's so, it's actually <laughs> it's so, so stupid. That is... The MVP from last year would be on the bench with this team. <laughs> yeah. That is ridiculous. Also... <laughs> Who are you ever subbing in for the game or profit? Like, it's just <laughs> ridiculous. The issue is as well, these three fill in so many 
hero pools. Like they, they, yeah. they I've just rubbed spice in my eye. But the, <laughs> they, they, these three, they fill in. Oh my god, There's, they fill in so many um, roles. Like yeah. if you if you try and bring in striker because he is the best tracer in the world, it's like, well, what is the argument over that when you have profit and decay and they also play a multitude of other roles? Flatter was also. Really like, good on a team-based yeah. tracer style last yeah. year. I, like people were making arguments that he was the best tracer. I mean, they were okay. Wrong, but well, you were, were sitting there in your in your in your uh, uh, marble castle. It's not marble castle. It's something else. I've already told you. You were like, oh, you know, like Flatter's not as good as a tracer as people think. You know, he's just well, yeah. deflecting. He's not actually dominating tracers. And that's that's what I agree with. I agree that he's not that good. But at the same time, all like three a, of them can play tracer too. Like imagine a, like a widow Hanzo with decay and prom. It. Like yeah, the only thing you're missing here fucked. is a sombra. But all of the sombra players you would get are kind are of a waste a of a step slot. Down. Like Lip. Yeah, are such a step down. Yeah, the thing is though, Lips, McCree, Hanzo, and Widowmaker are all really good as well. You could would you put Lip what, over Fletcher? Oh my um, god, no, who do you I'm sub so out? I'm sorry, I can't. It would have to be Fledder. I can't. You can't it's... sub out Fledder. So you're going to take so him over hard. Profit or Decay? I think you have to sub out Decay because he plays the same kind of role. Like, anything that... Any long-range hit scan with this current roster, you, you would have Decay Do you think is better than Decay? Wait, sorry, what? Do you think Fledder is better than Decay? At what? At what just as an overall player, just oh, like I, mean, I, I, I don't think that's fair because I think I think Flera is like the kind of junk rat that comes in and just owns or like the Fara that like dominates. Like the K well, is like the McCree or you know like the the, the, the Widowmaker or the you know he can play anything like hit scan kind of thing. Also, it's not even the heroes that they play. Decay requires a lot of resources to hit, to like pop off, whereas Prophet and Fletter are both actually quite low resource players. They run yeah. around on their own, doing their own shit, and they're just farming and cleaning up and syncing up with their main tank. Whereas Decay is like your pocket, right? Like, you give your resources to this guy and he pops off. That's a little bit more like what Lip is. You pocket him when he's on Sombra, or you pocket him when he's on, uh, like, the, the Hanzo or the McCree or the, the Widow. So if you were going to integrate Lip, you'd have to be okay with taking a slightly lower hit scan, um, which... To be honest, I don't think... I actually think Lip is better than Decay at, at um, McCree. And probably Hanzo as well. And definitely Sombra. Well, and so what Decay is better at is Tracer, existed. which you're probably not going to have him play anyway. Widowmaker. And Lip is pretty serviceable. And, you know, all the random other stuff that Decay can also play. I... Hey, if it was me building the roster, I'd go for Prophet, Lip, and Fledder. I think. I don't think there's an argument. But really? Really? You don't think there's an argument so, for well, Decay? No, so I, the trouble I have with, with your argument is that Decay, Prophet, and Fletcher cover each other's bases so well with the three of them in Yeah. that it's hard to argue otherwise. But, but they don't cover Sombra. I don't know who would play the Sombra. Bro, what are we, what are we talking here? What profit on it. Come on, two, just put three. profit on it. Like, figure it out. Yeah. People playing Sombra yeah. right now. Get, get Lip out have, of there. Get Lip out of there. I would have get him out. in get at least out. one of these players picking up the Sombra in some capacity. Okay, all right. <laughs> Sombra's, not, out of there. Sombra's not a, I'm going to play Sombra and dominate this game kind of hero. <laughs> kind of is. A little bit when Lip plays it. Can be. But you, you're, you're relying a lot on your team as well. You yeah, no, I, 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 I just uh, no decay, profit, and flutter. I think this like, is a perfect trio. Uh, okay, Josh yeah, I mean, could play, play. Josh it could play crazy. Zen for this team, and they'd make the finals. Fucking yeah. sleeping. <laughs> yeah, okay. I mean, it's the, 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 unreal. The difference between like putting lip in there and then seeing decay, profit, and flutter is like if, if this was like a pay per view event, I'd be like decay, profit, and flutter. I'm throwing money at this event. Like I want to pay twenty dollars to see this yeah. team actually play in the World uh, Cup. Yeah, but like yeah. lip is in there, I'm like maybe ten dollars, five. No, 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 I don't know how I'm feeling, you know. <laughs> like, okay, all right. So Brandon, no, support. Beer, support. support. Do you take uh, Lee Jae gone? Yes. Yeah. In my opinion, one hundred percent you take yes, He's gotta be in there, right? I don't yeah. think there's another main support in the league that's close to to him. Am I am I forgetting somebody that should be in the same conversation? I just don't even think it's a 
<laughs> it's uh, a debate. I think you're, I think you're kind of spot on with that. And then uh, I guess what? For me, this is between Alarm yeah. and Violet. Violet. What about... Um... Okay, I know that he gets not talked about very much. Izayaki deserves to be in the conversation, but I mm -hmm. don't think you would pick him anyway. That's so... an interesting one. I, yeah. I, but I just don't think there's enough of an argument to pick him over Alamo Violet. That's I the problem. I would put Izayaki in Would the you same... still put Jonak in the mix? Uh, Not personally. Uh, I think I, I think, would put yeah, Izayaki in the same vein two. as players like Gangnam Jin and Shu. Really? Yeah. Uh, I think he's a step above. I think he's in between. I think he's not and quite Twilight. legendary level of like Alarm and Violet, but he's he's damn close. We haven't seen Fielder on zero ping. True. I mean, Fielder True. didn't even play for the Dallas Fuel recently when they were in Korea. When Dallas were playing against uh, people in the Nexus Cup, Fielder didn't even yeah. get put out. I don't know why. They were playing with Rappel and Jackson. I, uh... But yeah, it's I think it's of... between Alarm and Violet, right? Yeah. It's, it's Honestly, kind of... is there any world in which you can't... Is there any world in which you can ignore the two-time clutch-as-fuck no. player, Violet. I have to bring Violet. Like, even if you think Alarm might be a more solid pick or fit into the team better or whatever, Violet is Violet, yeah, man. Violet, okay. He's just... Yeah. He's nuts. This team Okay, so here's so the thing. Here, here, here... I mean, I don't even know if this is an argument, okay? So... I think... If you wanted to rely on your tank line and DPS line, I think you would bring Alarm. Because, like, Alarm kind of carries himself. I feel like with Violet, he did a ton of work on Senyara, and he was a big reason why San Francisco Shock even won the, the Overwatch League in the first place. Because I think his Senyara, like, being able to play that at the level he did, I think carried a lot of San Francisco's strategies. But Alarm kind of, like, carries himself. And if you want to go for, like, an all-around kind of team... You know, when you consider, like, resources, hero pools and resources, like, you yeah. know, like, neutral, I think you would go for Alarm. But if you want to go as, as Violet, it's like, hey, we're going to have, like, a sick tank line, a sick DPS line, and we'll put some resources into Violet to frag out to make it hard for the enemy team to, like, dive him and shut him down. Because, like, if people die with Violet in this lineup, Decay, Prophet, Flera, Void, Smurf are just going to feast. They're going to be like, oh, you're diving Violet? Okay, I'm going in. <laughs> you know, yeah. I kind of laugh about it. That's the case for Violet, I feel like. But if you want it to be like, hey, we're putting our stock into Void and Smurf, or we're putting our stock into Decay, Prophet, or Flood, like, you know, pick, pick your poison. I'd go with Alarm, because I feel like Alarm kind of like carries himself better without those kind of resources. Well, I think that Violet was like, the standout star just like fragging yeah. in the back line is like a, a, a threat. Like, you know, he's scary Definitely. in that kind of regard. Uh, I, I um, think that Violet pairs wonderfully with Moth. And um, that's true. That's a great argument, actually. Like, does he pair great with Lee Jagon? Exactly. And Lee Jagon is much more of a playmaker in that sense. Having said that, when he plays stuff like Brigitte, he isn't the playmaker. He is rock solid position. Well, I mean, he still makes plays, actually. He's ridiculously good at it. But he has he, he draws that perfect line on Brig between always being in the right position to help his Iaki and, and being able to maximize his impact on the Brigitte itself. So I wouldn't be worried if it was some kind of Brig meta. But if this, if this was like, uh, I don't know, Bap Lucio or something like that, you, Motherfuckers are getting zero uh, support from your support line because they are just going to be fragging the, constantly, hundred percent of the time. Yeah, this for, is an all-star roster of all stars, and it will oh, yeah. suffer from the same issues that a lot of superstar lineups do, where they just everyone's a playmaker. The argue for Violet over Alarm for me comes down to I'm not thinking about playstyle matches up. I'm not thinking about that. My head's empty. The only thing I'm thinking of <laughs> is. The accolades. Sure. Uh, and I think the experience as well from a player like Violet. Uh, despite the fact that Alarm had a fantastic season, I yeah. think clearly, this, I, I mean, again, you can argue against it, but a standout player in my eyes on the Philadelphia Fusion yeah. uh, from this season. I would agree. Um, yeah, it's, it's the experience, again, that sets Violet above a lot of these other candidates. It's the, it's the experience factor that kind of separates, I think, Fearless over Smurf as well. Like, just the, the fact that they've been in these high-pressure situations, they played for such a long period of time at the very highest level, uh, I think that instills a level of 
just confidence in this team that you're not going to get with some other players. Not what? to say that I would expect this team to fail if Alarm was in it. This team would still be favorites to win against anyone. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. I, I'm, the other argument for Alarm, honestly, is that Violet Zen and his BAP are best in world, right? Mm -hmm. Alarm's probably yeah. second at both of those. You could argue that, you know, there's a couple of other players that are in the running for it. Okay, you might have Alarm top three on those instead of top two. Actually, no, Alarm just straight up is the second best Batiste. But you could argue that maybe someone else is up there in terms of Zen. Um, when it comes to the Anna, though, and the Moira, Alarm's play style is much more mm -hmm. to do with maximizing value for the rest of his team. Like, he's constantly yeah. playing the right positions to be able to help the rest of his team and get the most value out of that role. And I think that, you know, Violet's an unbelievably explosive clutch player, but it's, it, it is almost, it's, the, it's a very similar argument to when you were saying earlier, Johnny, that you would actually want Smurf and Choyobin. Like, personally, if I was building yeah. a roster, I would want Smurf, Choyobin, and then I'd probably want, I mean, I would throw Lip in there, but whatever, we can keep the same three DPS, and then I would want Alarm and Lee Jae gone, because, or maybe even Izayaki and Lee Jae gone, because it's about the synergy, and it's about, yeah. like, the actual resources and the play style actually syncing up. But at the end of the day, what we're constructing here is a bit more of, like, a fantasy all-star roster, and the I don't think there's like, anything yeah. wrong with that. I don't think there's anything wrong with saying Violet's the most accomplished flex support, he deserves the spot. Even if that's not how a coach would do it in a physical world. This is a good I team. think, yeah, this, this is a fantastic <laughs> this is a good team. team. I think, <clears throat> the, the, I, I think one thing that has killed Korea, I mean, I was going to say in the past, but like they've literally only lost once. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's like sometimes you get too safe, and that might have to do with mono, like playing the main tank. Um, and I don't think Void and Smurf would like play too safe or like be passive in that kind of way. I feel like Violet kind of brings the heat in a way that Alarm doesn't. Because oh, I, yeah. I, I, you know, I've gone back and forth in this in my head while you were speaking, Josh, as well. I was like, do you want like an all around accomplished player like Alarm to know, you know, it's like whatever it is. It's Moira, it's Brig, it's Bap, you know, he can play everything yeah. to just like massively dig on and just fill in, you know, the kind of thing. But if you bring Violet, you're bringing the heat in a level where it's like, it, it's, it's scary to face Korea because you're like, how the hell do we deal with Violet? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I think that's to some degree more scary than going up against Alarm because you know that Alarm can cover all the bases because you know what you're getting to an extent. And that's unfair saying like, you know what you're getting and like, oh, they're elite, they're elite players, like they're elite the best at what they do you know that's unfair like you know what you're getting it's like oh the best player in the world <laughs> but <laughs> violet is like scary in a sense that he can do he can do have so much impact as a flex support that i think it becomes a concern for teams and that allows the tank and the damage division to do even more work while i think that if you go up against korea and alarm is on there I think you can kind of be like, hey, let's target the tanks or hey, let's target yeah. Yeah. the damage. Yeah. And you, it's easier to construct a game plan. Well, I think that some people like I could see myself like as a player or like USA, any other team be like, hey, some player is inevitably going to bring up Violet as like a threat to you. And that's going to impact the way you make like a strategic game plan kind of decision. Yeah, yeah. Whereas I don't think Alarm does that in some kind of degree. And I think that's like, very uh, important for Team Korea to not be like neutral in every level. Like, oh, they have elite tanks, elite damage, elite support. In some way, I think that Violet differentiates himself from Alarm in case of like he, how, how, how much of a threat he is. And I think that's important yeah. for a World Cup team. Like, um, it becomes uh, difficult to face Korea that way. Perpetual motion machine. <laughs> you know? <laughs> in what way? In like, if you think of motion... Okay. As creating space. Right. And like, there's no, like, the, 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 if you think about each player inflicting an amount of pressure onto everyone else on the map, mm -hmm. like their enemies. Right. The tanks are usually creating space for the rest of the team. Sure. In this case, the DPS is almost creating space just from their sheer 
prowess. Okay. Just the weight of their balls just being dragged <laughs> around the map. Mm -hmm. The gravitational pull is too immense. Okay. But it's but, but it's, it's anti-gravitational pull. Because, it's pushing yes, them yes, away. It's like pushing them back. And, and because everyone is creating space mm. and everyone's capitalizing off of the space by creating more space, <laughs> it's like a perpetual motion machine. Right, right, right. But they're just farming <laughs> on the map. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which yeah, is, yeah. I think, yeah. what Johnny yeah. was saying. Yeah, no, put I... into real layman terms. <laughs> like, this team would just fucking pound. It would. I mean, yeah. yeah, I said that China could be favorites. I'm looking at this team, and I'm Ain't nobody thinking, beating that. yeah, Korea's just going to win. <sighs> People what playing I, for a second. I had another question for you guys, though, as well. When you look at the roles of the, the players that we've got up here, how many... So. If you decided to make a B team and a C team and a D team for Korea, if we wanted to go that kind of route, what role would you run out of first? Where, um, where okay, um, you're not going to run out, but you stop being confident that that player is like the best that you could possibly select. You know? I think main I know support. Main tank? Yeah, maybe main uh, support. Well, main we, had like, support. we had like four different main tanks, didn't we? We had Smurf, yeah, I we had mean, Sado. Fearless, Fearless, Sado. Um, Murph. gesture you could throw in there as well. I mean, main gesture is a bit of a kind of stretch, maybe. but I don't know about gesture these days. So what? You I got, think I main think support. Main you see the biggest. What drop do you mean? Define it. Run out. <laughs> well, what I mean is, so for example, in um, in the uh, let's say let's say Canada because it just sprung to mind. You have R Crimzo. You have Rolf at flex support. After Rolf, though, you don't literally run out of Canadian flex supports, but the drop-off is so large that it stops being the same tier of, uh, of, of player. So what is the limiting factor in Korean talent to, to making, like, all-star lineups? I think main support is a good shout, though, yeah. Matt. I mean, after Lee Jigon, what do you go down to? Animo, Slime, slime Toby. I think, I think I could and make then you're at, variations. Like Chris Jexay. Yeah. I think I could make variations of 50% of the players here. Yeah. Uh, and it would still be favorites in the World Cup. What do you mean variations of 50% of the players? I think I could take 50% of the players. That's like the cutoff here. Really? And make variations uh, of teams. I don't know. China's I, pretty I good. I think they would still be the favorites. I mean, yeah. China's very, very good. China is good. But I, like, think I, like... think, I think as well, we, we're kind of like underselling some... Somebody, I think, off tank. You got ton of talent. Yes, ton of talent. In yeah, Korea. yeah, crazy DPS, off tanks. Crazy amount of talent. Yeah, yeah, across the board. Main support, unbelievable main talent. Support. Yeah, I, I think uh, you run out support. of. I think you run out of main tanks after like four. Yeah, you're talking I, like Smurf, Fearless, um, Mag, Fate, and at that point you start to get to like. Either the tier where they can be amazing or they can shit the bed like gesture, or you're just getting to a tier where you no longer feel like they are elite anymore. People like Marvel and Mano, in my opinion, where you're, you're, they're good, they're really damn good, but you're not sure that they're going to be. I mean, maybe even you could argue Fate is in the same pool as Marvel and Mano, honestly. All right. Yeah. yeah. Interesting, interesting though. You could genuinely make four Korean teams that would all be possibly winners yeah i think yeah. we are locking this one in as hard as that yeah. is yeah. as much as we talked about the various examples yeah i think this team is the yeah it's hard <laughs> it's hard it's to crazy. argue against it it's fucking mental yeah, yeah. I but mean, I, th I think this is a damn good team yeah I, I understand what you meant, Johnny, by I would pay to watch this team play. I'd absolutely pay to watch this you team play. You would, right, yeah. God almighty, starts. forget McGregor. This yeah. team is... Well, just... actually, I mean, the, um, they've announced that they're doing a San Francisco Shock versus the world mm -hmm. for uh, BlizzCon, right? And in theory, they could have a bunch of these different, like, super teams to play against the Shock. I don't know what they've got planned for that, yeah. but you might be able to see... Like some ridiculous super teams. teams, yeah, some ridiculous super teams. I don't know how seriously they're making that event, but I mean, you that would just, be kind of cool yeah. to to see something like that, where you yeah. had like, I mean, you had you like could just force metas like we did with the Tan takedown. 
Yeah, exactly. And you could get yeah. teams to actually like just, I mean, you're not playing scrim comps, are you? you no, know? no, no. You could get Profit and Birdring back together with Gesture and just have like a yeah. <laughs> GC Busan. Get Wu Hyal back in. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I think it's time to wrap this episode. We've been going on for a while, uh, but yeah. we did some good work today. We did. We, uh, really? we got the job done, you know? You got uh, so I, much fucking food on that table. Hey, a lot of food. This was just <laughs> awful. These are the, uh, like, the ones that I have. Right. They're right. spicier than the ones you bought. Okay. Well, um, I'm excited to try those and uh, burn my face off. Yeah. I actually don't you, want to try them. You, it will ruin your insides. I'm sure it will. You won't yeah. be able to consume food. I don't, I don't want them. I don't want them. <laughs> um, keep your eyes open for the Twitter polls because we will be yep. running this bracket. Um, I guess, like, right after this Our goes 19, live. Who gets a buy? Uh, oh, I think yeah. South Korea. Korea? But, Come wait, on. Why Korea? Yeah. USA won last year. Yeah, true. I don't care. If you were what? to... Come give on, Korea USA should get a buy. They won. They're, de they're the defending okay. champions. They should. I, th yeah. I think that's okay. reasonable. But in, in, the, in, 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 in the, 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 the equivalent to FIFA rankings, like, the point system has not yet garnered, like, and promoted yeah. the number one okay. above it's, Korea. I, I think okay. it's only fair that USA get the buy, given the fact that they did win last year. But if Greece wants the Soccer World Cup, they don't just automatically get like the best team in the world. Like, no, you gotta fight okay. for that for a few decades. All right. Do Sorry, you want to come up with a, you, but... you want to come up with an ELO ranking system? No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, it's a plat chat World Cup. It remains okay. plat. That will end it. Well, uh, yeah. Who are we voting for then? Is it is it US or is it Korea? What do you think, Matt? US, because they won last year. Yeah, there we go. Okay. He's right. Nice. been outvoted. Yep. Yeah. There we go. Thanks for watching, everybody. Sense. Hope you enjoyed this Plat Chat special, the World Cup edition, as we've gone over the theoretical World Cup teams. Maybe, at some point, we'll get enough funding, if you watch enough ads, to just fly the teams out to a special <laughs> location, like in a year's time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? I'm sure that'll happen. Yeah. We'll rent a warehouse in Ohio. Yeah, in Hawaii. And uh, Hawaii, yeah. yeah. We'll get all the teams to, to come. We'll, we'll get them to bring their own PCs to make it cheap. Yeah. And we'll get them to play against each other. <laughs> Sounds good. And we'll stream yeah. it with Jake observing on an Xbox controller. <laughs> all right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.